Uh, we lie. Uh, we lie. Seems good. Let's continue with Longbore of the Chosen. Wherein I left myself a little reminder to get the next uh, Spec Ops mission going. Um, what else do we have going on? Without peeking in the uh, strategic map for two milliseconds, otherwise Central will yell at us. It looks like we've got one mission infiltrating. Only a couple of people wounded and not for very long. Fantastic. It is September 28th. It's getting a little bit late, but not too drastic just yet, as far as I remember. We've actually got two whole Illyrium cores. Um, I would love to do advanced scopes, but I don't know if we can justify our second last Illyrium core going to that. How much do we need for the coil guns? It's 15 alien alloys. We've actually got... It's crystals and alloys. Okay, what about powered armor? Two Illyrium cores. I think we're okay for armor for a little bit longer. And we're going to be pouring a lot of resources into coil guns anyway. It is more important to get rid of enemies' actions before they happen, generally. Um, we're about to finish basic research, and then I think I might break down something for alloys. We've got 11, so if we get four more alloys, we can start coil gun research. Some of these uh, give us that many alloys in one go, but they're going to be our precious rare enemy corpses. Um, what do we have lots of? Snakes, I think. We've still got 12 sectoids and 7 viper corpses. Um, that, I think, is where we're going to get our alloys from. Let's see, Sectoid is three alloys, Viper Corpse is also three alloys. So I think we'll do Sectoids first. We only need a couple of the things that Sectoid Corpse specifically goes into. Alright, so as soon as basic research is done in 11 hours, we'll do the Sectoid breakdown. Um, we've already got someone training in the Psy Lab. Nothing to do here. Officer abilities. Oh, I do have uh, Midden. Could be... We can always pull Midden out if we really need to. We've already got one trial by fire. Let's go for the jammer. We can delay reinforcements by one turn with that. And I think I do want to queue up advanced scopes and probably talon rounds. Now that we're about to have some serious reaction fire crit uh, ranges, likely getting two or three crits in one turn. Um, I definitely want to see that. So... We'll We've been really starved for scopes this run, so let's get advanced scopes that so that we can manufacture them. And... Uh, Talon rounds are up here now. Okay, there we go. Oh, and now we're down to two supplies. Whoops. When's our supply drop? 21 days? Okay. I know what I'm looking for in the resistance ring. Um... Gather supplies? What's this? Intense training? Hacking plus six. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I definitely want that. Um, pretty normal stuff here. Steel corpses might be good at this stage. Reduce avatar project progress. That's pretty much just uh, compulsory. Our main resource in this game is time, and this turns back the clock a little bit.
I don't see any anything that gives us supplies though, unfortunately. So before this resets in 20 something days, um, let's see, 21 days, I definitely want intense training. I definitely want reduced avatar progress. That's kind of long though, 12 days. If we put people together who are bonded, like Boovim and Crimson, um, it's going to reduce the time significantly. Who is Larius bonded with? Rorosaur. Is Rorosaur available right now? No. I need someone just to demonstrate this and see how much it would knock off. Sloda is infiltrating. Uh, Zetius might be available. Zetius. Yeah, there we go. It still says 12 days. Maybe it's not enough of a bond. Damn, that's a lot. That's more than half our remaining time. But there's only a couple of missions that I desperately want done. Well, I mean, I always want... Uh, gain ability points, resistance mech, counter chosen activity. We're not going to be able to do everything. Although the chosen activity doesn't do that much, to be honest. Um, do we have a Sigma Bean available right now? I'm thinking probably not. Sigma Bean. Oh, yes, we do. Plus six hacking on our number one hacker sounds good to me. What do we got? 92 plus 20. Plus 20 from the gremlin. That's pretty good now. That is getting there. Oh, uh, and I wanted to look at Sigma Bean's abilities. Let's remind ourselves. So we're up to... Failsafe is next. That is a big one. That is a game changer right there. Who knows, maybe... Can we see XP here? Maybe that would push Sigma over the edge. I don't think I've ever seen a display for XP for our soldiers in this game. Okay. So I think I'll start with this one, partly because I want to send Boovim and friends uh, to reduce the Avatar project progress. Um, it looks like we can't even pick our loadout for Sigma Bean here, so I don't think there's any chance of ambush. And I think that's it for the moment. Let's get that basic research finished. Let me just browse the map for a sec. Oh, we need to pick up our supply. We've got 610 supplies we haven't picked up. That definitely helps. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's any reason to do anything else yet. We scan, we get supplies, fantastic. I right click so we don't get forced to fly back somewhere waste time. We're actually zero hours on the research. If I fly over to the back black market, I'm pretty sure we lose time where we're not researching. So up to 60 real-time seconds, this will take over. I could change... there we go. I could change the game speed to bump that up a bit. Uh, let's see. I said we were going to break down a sectoid. And then we should be able to research... Oh, I think we need two sectoids, and then we can research coil guns. We need a core for battle armor. We're probably going to get powered armor before battle armor at this rate. 
It's fine. Battle armor in Long War of the Chosen is actually shockingly bad at being armor. It's basically just plus one rocket for our technicals. I don't really think it's worth it, especially the resources we have to put into it. I will begin our research immediately. All right, so 18 hours times two, and then we start uh, coil gun research. Um, since we've got so much money, let's Avenger have a look at the black market. market is open. And what do you have? Scientist, engineer... About 200 at this point. Uh, sergeant, grenadiers, and gunners. We've got a few grenadiers already. A couple of gunners. Advanced scope costs 60, but it'll be a hell of a lot cheaper when we manufacture them. Um, elite auto loaders, not that bad to pick up. Advanced perception? I don't know. Superior agi? Everything is more expensive than it should be. Let's see if we can sell anything. Very interested in laser cannon, and this is obsolete at this point. We don't want to be taking laser cannons, they don't do enough damage. We'll definitely sell that. Uh, as for an advanced suppressor... We don't have enough suppressors. And I don't think we want to be selling anything else. We've only got one or two of three of everything as it is anyway. Old stocks? We could probably sell old stocks. Okay. Do we actually buy anything? Probably not. Um, I do... Too much about our operations, Shut up, Central. If we don't work with the resistance on a covert action to hunt them down, we're going to end up on the defensive. Um, we don't have... It doesn't look like we're going to get another contact without building this, uh, this room. Let's put it down here. Resistance comms, 150 supplies. That stings a little bit, but what are you going to do? I don't think... Avenger Power Plus 5, we do actually need. Technically, uh, I don't think it's yet possible for the Avenger to get attacked. Let's put this engineer in here. And let me just check something real quick. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, let's see, 18 hours until that's done. Oh yeah, we want to look at the black market again. Market is open. So, hang on, how much does coil guns cost? Uh, 100 supplies for the research itself, then we actually have to buy the coil guns. Let's call it at least 200. Uh, and we've got like 500. Market we can maybe afford a couple of things here. Elite auto load is pretty hard to come by. And is very, very good for certain classes. I think I will take that. Elite laser sight? Not so much. And I could buy an Illyrium core. I think, yeah, I think we are desperate enough. We're so low on cores. 60 supplies for a core, that hurts. Um, superior agility, max dodge on someone. Might be a pretty good idea, honestly, for our tank. Crimson? 
Crimson already has 18. Oh, you've already got advanced agility, so this is not that big of an upgrade. No, I think we'll leave that as is. I think there was someone else that I would have liked to put dodge on, but I couldn't. But it's probably not that big of a deal. Negative dodge does mean the enemy's more likely to crit, but... It's not quite worth it. Market is open. Alloys? That's a lot of alloys and a lot of supplies. And we are very short on alloys. We're about to have zero alloys. Crystals are not so bad, actually. Uh, I think I do have to buy alloys. That also stings. Okay, so we're going to be keeping a lookout for any kind of smash and grab. That sort of mission. I'm going to have like two coil guns when that gets researched. Unless it takes so long to get researched that we're in the next month. Two days, 11 hours is too short. This will prove to be an important step forward. And we need to repeat this research one more time. I'll just confirm that. Uh, yeah, we need... Oh, hold on. Twenty-four days. Maybe I should've... Well, it's less than a day for the sectoid. We'll do coil guns next. Uh, I think our mission's ready. Fantastic. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we're boosting this one. Actually, how long do we have to... to we've got three days, ten hours. It's, al it's already light. We should be able to get it down to extremely light without... Uh, without paying the intel boost. It might take a couple of days, though. But we've got nothing else going on at the Another moment. Important step forward in our research. Fantastic. All right, let's get those coil guns. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. It is a very important task. All right, let's get some more intel. And we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. Commander, we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Yes, indeed. Let me just double check what I've got. These guys are on supply. That, that's good. Maybe I should put an engineer in here. We'd be risking an engineer when an event happens here, but. I, th I think we've got enough people on the supply. We're getting a thousand per month at the moment. Because I put these guys on supply because we weren't looking for a mission just this minute. I think I can probably... No, you know, we're going to need a lot of supplies right now. We're not desperate for a mission this moment. Six days, 16 hours, extremely light. One, two... Two plus a rookie? Three? Th three people and two rookies. Um... Yeah, we probably should load this up, definitely. Large map, that's not that big of a deal. Right, let's rescue some rebels. Who have we got handy? Commander, we'll need to have one Shut of up, Central. The for use in the field if we're going to make any it did say extremely objective. light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we've got six days to infiltrate. I think this actually is a good opportunity. Yes, Central, to, to, to use the Skulljack. Exactly. One of our equip it they deploy. Uh, I think we've only got one... Uh, we've actually got a couple of Shinobis. Two experienced shinobis ready. We're going to want the better sword shinobi for this one. Which would be... Sheepsamer? I 
think. Definitely. Better speed, aim, mobility, better dodge, um, higher level of sword shinobi. Choice is pretty obvious. Let's go with sheep. And we'll need a good sword. We'll need some armor. Maybe even a spider suit on sheep seamer. This is probably where I wanted to put the dodge. Although well, you've already got 28. That's quite high. Who else do we have available? I can take people out of Haven Advisor if I need to, but we don't have anyone that elite doing Haven Advisor right now. Uh, Stardust seems good to me. I don't think the Codex can be set on fire. Do we not have any... Yeah, needle rounds. There we go. Um, I definitely want Jakubek. And... Well, Freeman's ma mostly specced to destroy people with flame grenades. The Codex, I don't think we can set on fire. I see all you guys are on supply. When do you put them on intel? And when do you switch them to supply? Uh, based on need, mostly. We need, we're need we gonna need more supplies over the next like month or two. Upgrading to coil guns and stuff. Um, I can, with Long War, with the Chosen, with Long War of the Chosen, I can scan at one of the HQs to get intel faster as well. So it's more about finding missions when I put them on intel. Um, so the more badly I need a mission, the more people I'll put on intel. Freeman's actually got 20 soldier AP. Not that much to spend it on though, I remember this. For a grenadier. Um, but do I want to take the grenadier for this? Yatuatu? Our uh, assault? That sounds like a very good idea against a codex. In fact, can we give him a spider suit? Not right now. Can I build one? Should I build one? The only thing I can't afford right now is a spider suit. Oh, God. Lord Titty? You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, Do I want to take Glacier? Oh, Boovim and Crimson? That sounds like a good idea, actually against a codex. We got a tank and we got a flanky double shot person. Didn't ever give him a better ripjack, but that's probably fine. Uh, and I would take Sigma Bean to give him more grenades if I could right now. Maybe I should take Larius as well. If we're going to fight the Codex... Oh, that's too many people. Unless I want to boost it. Which I don't really... This squad would be a bit lacking in... Basic direct firepower. We got a sniper. We got a whole lot of short range. I don't think I will take Crimson, and if I don't take Crimson, I'm not taking Boovim. Let's bring Jakubek. Is Midden available? No. And maybe a Technical, if I can? I actually have no Technicals available. I can take him out of Haven. Jikra has 80 aim, 6 health, bad mobility. That would actually be a pretty good fit here. I 
think. This plus a grenadier would actually be pretty good. I think I want Glacier Wolf with the higher mobility. Oh wait, that's not a grenadier. What am I doing? I was looking for Shmua, who has the same mobility. Never mind. Did I give that mobility boost to anyone yet? Uh, I guess I did. Okay. I kind of want Freeman to have the extra health anyway, since he's gonna not wear ablative armor. For the sake of one more grenade. All the more reason I should give him untouchable. We've got a lot of shared AP, maybe I should spend like 10 of it. It's kind of a lot. But for Freeman to just not be hittable by one attack after he kills something... I don't know. We'll, we'll wait a little bit longer. Uh, let's see. On reaction fire person, we want... Can I make weapons available? Do we have one of these already loaded out? Advanced hair trigger, advanced expanded mag. And how about a laser sight? That's only a regular laser sight. Plus five crit, that's like practically nothing. Hmm. Oh yeah, I definitely, definitely want to get these two as soon as possible. That's where our shared AP is going quite soon. Yeah, definitely good enough to spend that just yet. Uh, SMG should probably be a laser stun gun. On our shinobi. For the plus five aim. Get some suppressor, basic laser side auto loader, I guess. And do I want Jacobek? Oh, Jacobek still got one mobility spare. How about how about AP rounds? And I think that's gonna do it this time. Extremely light, 120%. Fantastic. Lightning reflexes is going to be very good on sheep. Well, it's only for reaction fire. It's actually not that great. I mean, maybe... Negative 100 aim. There's actually a chance to make that chosen warlock miss with this. Anyway, we'll save that. You know what might be better is Implacable. Bonus move after getting a kill. Does it work with uh, Reaper? I th think it does. The flesh ability cannot be used after gaining a bonus move from Implacable. Well, yeah. Okay, anyway, I think this mission is ready to go. Let's see. Oh, I didn't do the Skulljack. Okay, it's not too late. I just have to... Together, we have succeeded in our task. Cool. Wait, now I can take Sigma Bean if I want. Um, Reduce Avatar progress. Normally I would save something with three people on it. For when the ambush chance is higher. But... Uh, we really, really need to get this one done. 
Failure 18%. I'm not a fan of that. Alright, those stats are all pretty decent. Uh, why don't you take some armor as well? Apparently we don't have any. I mean, I can give you plus two ablative. That's not that big of a deal. I don't think that's worth the mobility. Okay, now let's queue this up with the same people again. Shut up, Central. Alright, sheep. Probably put the Skulljack on you. And let's get everyone else that I was taking. think that's it. Let's-a go. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. All right. Two hours until we have a new... Setting course for or rather an upgraded uh, Psy soldier. Target acquired, 3 days, 21 hours, that's kind of short. We don't desperately need another scientist, but it wouldn't be bad. But with 3 days and very light, I don't think we're doing that. Even with a sneak mission. Solace. Fantastic. No one else is ready to be trained in the Psy Lab. Let's get our scientists back on the job. And Coil Guns is now down to 17 days. Nice. Maybe I should build a lab. Hmm. I, it's probably way too expensive for what it does. 150 supplies. Even with the amount of income I've got right now, that's questionable. Alright. Uh, how's this one doing? Extremely light? Let's go. Sloder, Rorosaur, Morpheus, I Am The Sky, and Damsel. Up against a relay. Prevents major breakthrough of the Avatar project. We cannot lose this one. Uh, Adventure on high alert, so we can't have concealment. Only I Am The Sky will have concealment. Alright, let's do it. This mission's pretty much critical for the campaign, I'd say. Same with the covert action that we're on. Between the two of them, it's like minus two or three blocks on the Avatar project. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They've got our position. Oh no. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in High stakes, let's go. Arm. Indeed. Where is it? It's in one of those very open diners. Well, I guess it's not a diner, it's a... Some kind of shop. Or it was. Okay. I don't love the line of sight that we've got um, to start with as we head out this way. Especially considering I've only got one scout. Let's put Larius in the corner cover. Oh, I saw something. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we can go all the way up to here quite safely, but they're likely to see us next turn. So let's figure out how we're going to prepare for that. I've only got... If I want to put them all on Overwatch, I've only got a blue move, except for Sloder. Uh, 
Uh, if I knew exactly where they were, I'd probably move Rorosaur up to about here. If we can keep him hidden. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can do that. So we can potentially flamethrow next turn. I also don't know exactly what kind of units we're up against. We still don't have the long range rockets. Uh, Damsel, I pretty much want. This. I'll probably put Damsel here actually. I want you close enough to definitely be able to grenade anything. Already there. Next turn. And Morpheus, um, considering that you can grapple up here, I definitely want you to steady weapon. We're not going to leave you standing in the open uh, to do some reaction fire. I'll put you over here where you might get a shot without moving, and... Maybe we'll consider grappling next turn, if you can guarantee a kill and get another action from Death From Above to hop off of that uh, coverless height advantage. What DLCs are you playing with XCOM? Uh, just, uh, just The Chosen. It's long war of The Chosen though, so, uh, so it's a bit different. Subham, Zaxxon. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm pretty sure we can put Sloder here. Wait, does he have line of sight from there? Not even close. Uh, he does have automatic hunker down if he didn't fire yet, so... Should be able to... Yeah, should be able to put him about here. Weird that there's no cover in that direction, but it doesn't matter this time. Copy that. And Aurorasaur... Um... I think I just want you here, to be honest. Might get a shot, might be able to use Flamethrower. Scanning. And we got to bear in mind we've only got 12 turns to destroy this thing. Okay, we don't know where they are. That's bad. It's kind of good that they haven't found us yet. It's kind of bad in a way as well. Um, I think I might have to be a little bit risky with I Am The Sky's stealth in order to spot them. If I go up here and there's something here... It's all over, actually, because what are these guys going to do about it? I think this is actually where I'm going to use Dedication, just to gain mobility. And... Maybe start by sprinting over here, take a peek through there. And I think we should be able to go over this way. Okay, I have no idea where those guys are. Um, unless they went inside this thing and hid in the corner. Damsel's in a pretty awkward position now unless we find them. Rorosaur, I don't want you to take an action before potentially firing a rocket. Uh, Sloder can't blue move to cover. I could set him up for reaction fire. Or, we could keep running down this way, trying to hide behind the carriages to try and move towards the objective without getting bogged down with fighting. That seems like a better idea for the moment. It's possible we'll see something here with Sloder, but if we do, the others should be able to do something about it. Okay, Rorosaur. Up to the corner cover. Morpheus. As far as you can go, more or less, I think, is probably the best idea here. And Damsel... something similar. You're 
gonna have to lag behind a little bit because I don't want you getting spotted. On the move. Got it covered. Okay. No sight, ten turns remain. Kind of wish I had a spy for a shinobi right now. More so than a swordmaster. So I could move around here with more confidence of not getting spotted. This is going to be a tiny bit risky, but I think it's worth it. Oh! And we know there's something over there, even if we shouldn't. I mean, it's almost a given that there's something here. I think I saw a muton. Alright, what do we got? Officer, and I think that's a tier 2 Rocketeer. I mean, I can check. We've still got line of sight. Advent Heavy Rocketeer. Okay. Uh, I think the way to go is to try and set up around here somewhere. But without them spotting us this turn. Morpheus could snipe one of them. How much damage do we have? 6 to 11, plus 4 if it crits. Obviously not guaranteeing a kill. I think moving up here makes a lot of sense. Let's see where we're putting everyone else first. Uh, Rorosaur over there should be okay, unless someone's hiding like right here. Pretty much as far as he can go anyway. If we do spot something, I'd like to find out now. That's a snake. Some kind of muton and snake. I think it's a centurion. Sloda can actually go pretty close to these guys without... without getting spotted just yet. Where do I want to put him, though? Probably over here. Damsel's just gonna have to... Run up as fast as her little legs will carry her. Uh, that civilian's not helping. I don't think they can hear it from here, though. Morpheus is also going to cause civilians to... I can't move Morpheus here now. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. This'll do. No, that might make things worse with the civilians. Hmm. I think it's only where you run to that makes the civilians flee in terror. Not if you run past them. Okay, I don't want to be too aggressive with Slota this turn, just because I want to give everyone else time to get in position. And I think we're going to have to put Morpheus here. And I am the sky. Doesn't actually have a very cozy spot to hide over this way. So I think I'd rather put you in position to potentially slicey dice. Oh, they're... They're just chilling going this way. Also, there's a hunter drone. Alright, we've still got nine turns left. That's not too bad. I can actually throw the Sky Ranger anytime I want, even though we're still sneaking around. I should probably do that. Um, if we do move the Sky Ranger, it doesn't take as long as the initial approach. Alright, so Sloda can actually get all the way up here without getting spotted. I think that might be the way to go. If we can get other people in position to do something next turn. Which I think we can. Let's have a look around a little bit more with I Am The Sky first. Affirmative. Moving out. Double, double snipey snake. And that is indeed a Centurion. 
Okay, we do not want them spotting us until we can get closer. Um, and I actually have corner cover up here. That's pretty cozy. Now I can't see these guys, though. I should have thought of that. But I know I can run Sloda up to this spot and, weirdly enough, not get seen just yet. And probably get spotted next turn, but not necessarily. Uh, Morpheus. Oh, I could actually snipe the objective from here. It would wake up the, uh, the pot over there, but, um... Yeah, we could go up here with no cover, but just stay too far away for line of sight, potentially. Since we've got the spider suit, though, I think we'll just steady weapon where we are and use the spider suit when the time comes. Or it's somewhere close to it, anyway. Alright, Rorosaur, I wish you had a little bit more mobility. But if you go here... You'll definitely have a good setup for a rocket, and you'll at least have low cover. Roger that. And dams all up as far as you can get. Morpheus, I actually might leave you where you are. No, if something comes from here, I definitely don't want it spotting Morpheus and only Morpheus. Let's just go this okay, way. Go. Steady weapon. And we'll grapple snipe, most likely. Heading there now. Objective We've seen one, two, three, four, five, six out of nine enemies. They're moving away again. We need to chew through 40 hit points of... Of this thing. Um, I'm very tempted to start sniping it. But I think it's more important to get the drop on our enemies. Because it would take... I mean, if, it, if we were really unlucky... Um, it would take like eight turns to kill the, uh, the objective with the sniper rifle alone. Okay. I don't know if we'll get spotted doing this. If we do, we might have a good angle for a rocket. Or a snipe. No, we'll have a better angle for a snipe if we get them before they... Before they run to cover. Alright, one more turn of getting in position, I think. And then we'll have to make a decision. Now. Morpheus, I want you about here. Maybe we'll even start by sniping at this pod. If these guys keep going away, that might be the play. This should be safe. Let's move already. And damsel overwatch, I guess. Scanning. I want to have a peek over this way. That last pod is probably around here somewhere, but uh, it could be anywhere, honestly, just about. Actually, this is a pretty good spot. Okay. 
Here they are. That's good information. It's actually got a pretty weak trooper. It's a basic trooper with bonus hit points. Alright, Morpheus. 100% on Naja with uh, maybe a 50-something percent chance to kill outright. That might not be the worst idea. They'll probably react by moving up to cover, and Rorosaur would be able to rocket them in that case. Do I want to set up Overwatch first? Or do I want Double Shot with Sloda? Potentially. Especially with Executioner. Doesn't have that much line of sight though from here. I think we'll go for the reaction fire. Here I come. Probably should have been a bit more careful about that actually. He is probably one tile off getting spotted there. That could have been a big mistake. All right, Morpheus, if you please. Maybe I should have grappled to get the steady after the uh, the one hit kill. They didn't get to move yet. I thought they would get like a reaction action. Hmm. That actually complicates things. On the plus side, we can move Rorosaur closer. I definitely want to do that. And I don't know if this thing here is explosive. It looks like a water tank. That thing's definitely explosive. But I feel a bit sketchy about moving Damsel up to here. I could put Damsel... Not quite. She doesn't have that much mobility. I mean, I could put her here. It might be a little bit more risky to get spotted. Um... He's probably fine. Moving to Overwatch. And that just leaves I Am The Sky. Ooh, I pretty much want to keep here to keep an eye on these guys. Oh, they're coming. Uh, awkward. Morpheus doesn't actually have a shot. I could put him on reaction fire. He's already got the uh, Steady Hands bonus. That might be the way to go. Does he keep it if I grapple, I wonder? We're just barely able to have I Am The Sky slip away. This would be perfect if we didn't have a time limit. Maybe I'll just scout the objective with I Am The Sky. Moving to designated position. And they haven't moved? Really? Okay. I... We take those. Do I want a reaction shot this time? They should get a bonus move this time. Pretty sure. If they don't, these guys will wander in and Sloda will get a shot on them. Alright, let's snipe the snipey snake. Three health left. See, this is what I was expecting. 
that's a really good start. That's a really, really good start. Good job, Sloda. And Aurorasaur will probably never get a better rocket than this. Oh, he's actually got... He could take one shot. It's a 48%. More importantly, uh, before we rocket, but more importantly, it would make the rocket less accurate. So let's not do that. Not bad. Could have done more damage to the Muton, but he's exposed now. Um, I don't actually have anyone left who can just shoot him, though. Is the thing. Damsel could take a shot, but it's probably going to be weak and inaccurate. Yep. Technically, it could kill him, but we're not going to take that chance. Oh, wow. If I could find the perfect angle, I could flame all these guys. But I guess that's what we'll use our gas grenade for. Grenade out. That may have been a little overkill. I'm okay with that. I think I want I Am The Sky to just reaction fire. Oh, I could have given someone an extra action to kill the Muton. Sloda would have been able to kill it, like, 100%. Definitely should have done that. Alright. They still don't see us? In come the new guys. Free shot. They miss. Fantastic. Alright, let's see what kind of shots we have before we make a decision. That's garbage. Whoa, what the... Uh, Damsel's got no shot, but we wouldn't want to just shoot with her anyway. I definitely want a gas grenade. Oh. Wow, I can do it without even moving. That's perfect. Alright, let's see what we have with Morpheus though. 100% on the officer. There's a very small chance of killing him outright. It's the Rocketeer I'm more worried about, but this guy has a lot of hit points. I could put Morpheus on Reaction Fire, so that happens on their turn, so we don't give them free actions right now. It's probably the way to go. And if we do enough damage with a Gas Grenade here... Sloda might have an execution shot. This is for you. Damsel, if you please. Oh, wow. Uh, that was actually way weaker than I thought it would be, but I think they take extra damage from the poison because of boosted cores, so... The two troopers could be as good as dead already. Um, I don't particularly want people bunched up against the officer. 26% though. Maybe I should flashbang. I'd have to get closer. And we get spotted. I am this guy can't move. I could sword the officer. Oh, you know what I should do this turn? Uh, regardless of anything else, everyone but Morpheus is going to get incoming. Four damage resistance against explosives. Hold here. And... Yeah, I could literally just... Well, the damage isn't that good. Damage is actually not that good. Do you not have a proper sword? You do have a proper sword. Why is the damage so low? Well, it's not that low, but still. If this pretty much guaranteed killing the officer, I would potentially do it. Even though she'd be exposed to a rocketeer and a drone. 
but I don't think it's worth it right now. We've only got five turns to deal 40 damage to the... to the objective, by the way. What's Rorazor gonna do? I could run Rorosaur over this way to potentially flame these guys when they come closer. And maybe get a flank instead as well. And we're not bunching up as much here. I think I'll put Morpheus on reaction fire first, just in case by some weirdness they spot us. Got it. We're good. And that just leaves Sloder and I am the Sky. I am the Sky is definitely not moving. But do we want to. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I am the Sky is going to be taking any other actions. I guess I could have used Focus Fire to increase the chances of hitting someone, but I don't think it's worth it right now. Oh, where are they going? And... Not the worst. I'll take it. That's the most important target out of those three, I'd argue. Troopers, uh, sorry, officers just on Overwatch. Troopers are doing nothing, that's good. Uh, we don't have poison immunity, so we can't exactly go in there. I also don't have a way to easily deal with the uh, Overwatch. Wait, isn't the officer poisoned? Yeah, he's just going to take damage. Um, and that overwatch is going to be gone next turn regardless. Unfortunately, I have no cover I can move up to if I want to flame these guys. Uh, this is why Rorosaur is a rocket user, not a flamer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could maybe flame this. If I move him up to that cover, it's not going to help much anyway. Uh, Damsel, I think these guys are in need of your attention. We could potentially set them both on fire if I move up just a tile. But the officer can see you for overwatch. How can I deal with that overwatch? What kind of shots does Morpheus have? 100% on Officer, we have a flank, hell yes. 91% on Rocketeer. I don't think I will take that. Um, probably Sloder could kill the Rocketeer. It's got Executioner. 72% twice, that's pretty good. Moving up wouldn't help. Alright, let's see how much damage we can get on the officer. That's going to affect our other decisions. And I might just take this opportunity to get the hide advantage. We know where everything is. Nothing's going to come and get Morpheus from behind. That way, if we kill the officer, we get to steady weapon. Fantastic. Beautiful. I can also hollow target instead of steady. And we can bump that 72, was it? 72% up to 82% twice. I think that's worth. I don't think we're that worried about steady weapon. Uh, we did hollow target the... Yes, we did. It's kind of hard to see. Alright, light him up. Try again. 
All right, fantastic. Uh, Rorosaur does have Shredder and Light Him Up, so that's actually a pretty good tool set against a... Uh, and good aim, of course, against a Hunter Drone. Very nice. Maybe kill it this time. The troopers are as good as dead. The officer is hiding, sitting in the poison. Um, I'm probably going to keep I Am The Sky here. Damsel could just grenade the officer. I guess I could have just done that earlier. And I could guarantee that the trooper dies. Oh, or I could set the officer on fire. That's, yeah, that's way more of a concern right now. The troopers are very unlikely to manage to do anything. I could also give Damsel one more action. Pretty sure. Yes. So we can do both. I'm pretty sure that trooper back there is just not going to accomplish anything in life. Fantastic. I think that officer is as good as dead as well. He's not on fire, actually? Oh, he is on fire. Fantastic. Alright, hopefully the poison clears before the loot is about to die. Um, but I believe that is every enemy on the map. Let's get started destroying the objective. Uh, I need to move Sloda up. This will do. Tired of waiting around. I don't know why I'm going to cover when I know there's no more enemies. Good habit, I guess. And Rorosaur, I want you to pick up this loot where you can get a double shot next turn. Ten four. I am the sky. Target asset recovered. Why don't you flesh? Yes, you are. Damsel. Position confirmed. Up here. Pew pew. I should have brought the uh, the more damaging, less accurate SMG. Oh, what? I could have sworn Morpheus had line of sight to the objective from here. Well, not this turn. I I'm trusting you here. Good thing we've got so many people to, uh, to mess it up. We can now get the loot. I think it's worth... We're not going to have trouble killing this thing, I'm pretty sure. Let's get our double shots off. Oh, yeah. Ready to engage. Two hit points left. Fantastic. Damsel, could you please stay away from the fire and grab this? I am the sky, same thing. And... May as well steady in case we want to reaction fire the reinforcements. Yeah, we can't get out right now. So let's get... Rorosaur just needs to be a bit closer, so let's give him a blue move Absolutely. and a reaction shot. On Overwatch. I'm this guy's gonna have to sprint. Sloder can do both. I'll put you in the evac no, so you no, could no. double fire next turn. Damsel, we're not gonna be asking you to reaction fire. Move. And Morpheus can blue move to the evac, so let's get a another reaction shot. Got it covered. They got me That's actually a good sign. 
means everyone gets shots. And I don't foresee having any trouble here. Advent forces on the ground. Target still up. Well, that's a little disappointing. Oh, here we go. Fantastic. We're going to have to ping this guy to get rid of his overwatch, but I don't imagine that'll be too much of a problem. 83% with Rorosaur, but then he can't get out. Um, Damsel, 76. Morpheus actually can't hit him from here? Seriously? Morpheus. That is clearly a line of sight. Okay, this is actually a problem. Um, we can flash to almost kill him. I think we're just going to have to spend an extra turn here. Alright, let's make absolutely sure we've got line of sight here. And hollow target. And then double shot. Rorosaur, 93%. Shredded. Uh, I am the sky. You didn't get to do much combat wise this mission, so why don't you slice it to pieces? Oh, close. And. Damsel actually killed like everything. <laughs> Um, let's get slow to execute. Why don't I have line of sight there? Finally. Because that's heavy cover there, probably. Slight overkill. On my way. On Overwatch. All right, let's get out of here. I still need to take more than one turn. Pretty sure they can't appear this time, but whatever. Alright, let's leave. Okay. I'm trusting you here. Affirmative. And don't forget Morpheus. Well, if you say so. Evac confirmed. Come operatives are secure. Fantastic. Lawless. Let's get a nice picture with the destruction in the background. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. Good work out there, Commander. We're one step closer All right, to two promotions. Rorosaur needs a rest. Damsel kind of needs a rest. Morpheus needs a rest. Advanced Expanded Mag isn't bad either. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we got Rorosaur with... Ooh, I've been waiting for this one. Six tiles of extra range on the, uh, on the uh, rocket launcher. Javelin rockets, yes please. That lets us do ambushes when even it's only Ashinobi that has uh, stealth. We've also got 16 AP to spare, and I wasn't really planning... This doesn't work with the rocket launcher, does it? Primary weapon only. Close encounters, that's completely useless, pretty much, on Rorosaur. 
long range and slow. Survival instinct, I don't want him getting injured in the first place. I can give him better aim for the next turn by using Hunker, but on this character, not that great. I'll probably end up getting it anyway, because we've got very high combat intelligence. We only need four more points, and I'm not going to spend the points on this stuff. Alright, uh, may as well grab Precision Shot. Probably should have done that before. And who's next? Damsel? Damsel has 14 AP to spare. Uh, plus 30 crit against adjacent targets. I guess that's not the worst with an SMG. I think I'll save Forever Vigilant instead. Or maybe Return Fire. No, this is only if she specifically gets shot at. Yeah, I'll probably just go for these two. Not that big of a deal on a Grenadier, any of these skills. But yeah, on Damsel we're going for Salvo, Heat, Warheads, Combat Engineer. We're going to level the playing field. I usually go tend more heads, but I think we should have a bit of, bit of variety in what our Grenadiers are capable of. Nice, that went well. And then... Only 28 hours until we got an advanced scope. 17 days for coil guns. 10 days for our covert op, that's kind of long. Alright, I think we need a mission now. We are queuing up this one. Which is not that important of a mission, although we definitely want it done. Uh, but yeah, now might be the time to put more people on Intel. And let's scan for Intel as well. Undying loyalty has expired, that's good. Alright, we can now make advanced scopes, plus 7 aim. They used to be plus 10. They used to be 5, 10, 15 in Long War 2. Uh, and we do have... If I had an elite scope, uh, I would be able to pay to be able to mass produce them. Uh, but yeah, compared to I think it was 40 supplies to buy... Uh, an advanced scope. We can get one for 20. That is like nothing compared to how useful these are. Definitely be putting those on all of our snipers and some other people. Alright. I guess we keep scanning. More bonus hit points, permanent. Uh, what's this? New target. One day, 14 hours. That's not going to happen. Not even with a sneak mission. I've had a lot of time to come up with these tricks. Fear of our pursuers. Okay, that... That's actually not negligible we need to keep an eye out for the chosen did it put them all on lower will or something time to lose. or don't tell me oh my goodness uh i can't conveniently see what all their negative traits are rorosaur shmua Fear of the Chosen... Is, is it going to be Fear of the Chosen on all of them? Fear of the Chosen... Okay... 
uh, who else was it? Other than every squatty. Sloder, Sigma Bean, Glacier Wolf, Morpheus, Shmua, Damsel. Uh, how do I... Glacier Wolf. I thought there was a key to press to, like, skip to a different tab here or something. Or do we just have to wait until it scrolls all the way down to Fear of the Chosen? It did say Glacier Wolf, didn't it? Or maybe not. I'm sure it said Morpheus? Hurry up. Hurry up, please. No? Where do we see their traits? I'm sure there was a... I'm sure there was some way to do it. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure all of them have... Um, Fear of the Chosen now. How do I even... This is actually a problem. I can't see what traits our soldiers have. What negative traits on some of them. But I'm going to assume they're all Fear of the Chosen. Um, I think Rorosaur's top priority to get that sorted out. Five days. Does that go quicker with a scientist? Let's see. Removing traits. It says six days. And if we put a scientist in, it's still six days. This is only for healing. Or physical healing. Instantly restore any soldier to a combat ready state? What does it cost other than this up front? I might have to consider grabbing that. Alright, well, that's a lot of therapy to work through. Could be worse, I guess. I don't know, I'm pretty sure this is the worst chosen sabotage that I've seen so far by a long shot. Resistance contacts plus one. It's about time. How much intel do we have? 214? Okay. Uh, at this point, I do want our engineer on defense matrix. I do not want to be caught with my pants down. And we don't need another plus one here anyway. So now we can finally go and make contact over here. What the hell? Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. Why was that instant? We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Uh, okay. I'll take it, I guess. Even advisor. How about... Uh, how about one of our psyops for the moment? Jake Johnson's the less good one. And we'll put these guys on intel for now. Uh, but yeah, we've actually got access to the Black Sight mission. That is a whole mission and a half. We should make sure we've got an A team, A++ team ready for that. Midden has Jammer now. Fantastic. Should we grab... 33% chance to gain one intel per kill if the officer is heady, uh, healthy. 
Lead by example gives everyone an aim will and hack buff based on your stats. Half the difference. That's not going to be much. You do have relatively high will, I think. 42. Um, no, it's mostly pretty normal. Some people have fairly low will. But is it going to mean that they don't get as tired after the mission? Both of these upgrades are pretty underwhelming. But obviously, if we want more, we need to keep going. Fire Discipline's a good one. So is uh, plus five defense. As long as they're not flanked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think your stats are so dramatically high that... I don't know, we do have a few people with relatively low will. If it means they're going to be that much harder to make tired. No, I think I prefer the intel collection. Okay. We scan. We have Talon rounds now. And we have... Nothing I desperately want to do with the Proving Ground at the moment. I would like to get uh, Skull Mining once we've got lots of supplies. And I really want to manufacture Elite Scopes. But it's a bit much at the moment. Red Screen Rounds. Uh, I don't think Sigma Bean has the excess mobility, whereby I would like to give him a pistol, laser pistol. Oh, you kind of do, actually. Where's your armor? Um, you're not actually a healer, so it's the exception to the rule that we give you a medkit. And you do have 14 plus 1 mobility without specialized armor. Yeah, we could... Uh, I, I want to give you the Skulljack for the hack bonus. So you'd have to have 13 mobility if I'm going to have you pistol tag a robot to lower its hacking defense. You'd also need to have lightning hands, and you really don't have the AP to spare for it. Oh, you do have high combat intelligence. It could happen eventually. Maybe if I give you, like, a spider suit. That seems like a waste on a hacker. I don't think we're going to go that route on Sigma Bean, at least. So, there's pretty much nothing that I want to spend on for the moment in the Proving Ground. Which means I can take the Engineer off of it. What? Um, I don't really have another task for the Engineer right now. I do, actually. We've got how many people on supply? Eight here? It's a little bit risky. But that's going to give us a lot more. Oh, apparently not that, not that much more. The liberated region, they can obviously collect supplies a lot more easily. But this will do for now. 
All right, what are we doing? Waiting for this mission. Eight hours until 100%. Very light. I think it was extremely light to start with, so we're not going to have to over-infiltrate it. Uh, and I think we keep looking for a mission. Like this one. Five days, 17 hours, smash and grab? Very light? Yes? Yes. Setting course for the Indian Regional Zone. This is exactly what we need right now. Shut up, Central. We've literally sent the Skulljack on a mission. Advent Strength here is only three as well. Alright. So... It doesn't matter if people have fear of the Chosen for this mission. The Chosen is not going to show up. So with that in mind... Let's send pretty much our best that we can right now. Morpheus is tired. Zedius? Two gunners, maybe. Um, we're already looking at very light. Up to 12 enemies on a smash and grab. That's not great. Maybe I'll pay intel. If I do pay intel, I could take... 6 people for very light or 5 for extremely light. I think I know what I'm going to choose there. How fast is everyone here fast enough? Let's get you some proper armor. Kevin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a nice Christmas. Thank you, you too. Have I been killed in XCOM? Uh, I don't believe so. Cavern. Oh, wait. Were you that... Were you that specialist? Uh, I'll double check in a moment. You might have been, yeah. Maybe I'll take Zetius instead of Glacier here. Zetius. Here we go. And take a proper gun. Is this a utility item? Um, maybe I should make you a proper... Proper knife. Shouldn't cost too much. That's not the one I'm looking for. That's an arc blade. What? Where, where's the knife? What? Do I really not have what it takes to make a a knife? Or is it under items or something? No, I don't think it's under items. I can't believe we haven't got... So you're telling me I can make uh, arc blades... Uh, where is it? Alloy throwing knife... But not the upgraded knife that the gunners use? Apparently. Huh. Couldn't see myself in the overview? Yeah, I think he might, might, might have died a little bit. Uh, I should probably take a Grenadier. Yeah, let's take Damsel. 
Actually, your mobility is kind of bad. Uh, Shmua also. All of our grenadiers have bad mobility. Damsel's actually kind of tanky. Alright, seems good. Do we want to give any upgrades yet? No, we're waiting for 20. Okay. Let's -a go. We're definitely going to boost this one. Alright, 100%. Still says very light, actually. 23 hours. Um, I could have sworn we queued this one up to not need a boost. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So it's going to be... I misclicked actually. I think I saw Jacobek in there. We're request uh we're rescuing two rookies and I think it was two or three uh rebels. See Yatu, Freeman, uh, Stardust. Oh yeah, this is our potentially. This is like our third attempt at trying to get the Skulljack mission finished. We tried to do it on an ambush mission, and we got really, really bad luck with the officer getting killed by the Lost. Can I actually grapple up here already? Everyone's concealed. Maybe I should do that with Sheep Seamer. I think that's probably a pretty good idea, actually. Unless there's a drone on that roof. Grapple up. Oh, did I say sheep? I meant Stardust. Alright, no way. drone. Oh. I'm glad I didn't put him here, although technically that would have been fine, it looks like. Uh, let's go to the corner. Why is this all dark? What? If I save and load, I'm pretty sure it'll show that we can see all this. Um, it'll probably fix itself next turn, though. Let's put Jacobek up here. And unfortunately, we don't have a hacker. Let's put Yatu... Probably... well, one of those corners. Sheep say meh, maybe somewhere a little different. And Freeman can't reach, so we'll probably just put him here, I guess. Who wants to try and tell me what to do? Why did it just pause? Okay, we're good. Yep, to what to up here, I think. And sheep over here. Let's do this. Eyes on the prize. Oh, Kevin, I forgot to double check. I'm sorry. But yeah, I didn't see your name. Okay, that's actually the perfect direction for that drone to go. And I don't think we ever see more than two drones, so now we know where all of them are. I'm really bothered by this this darkness here. Um, but at least line of sight seems to work. I don't want to move Stardust just yet, because I want to be able to see where that drone is. Um, 
How about Yatu? Good copy. There's a peak copy. over here. And beep. It's not going to be going this way. Jakobek probably up here, where we can see no both of the drones. Place. Now we can see. Apparently it's just Stardust that's blind. Um, I kind of want a steady weapon. But I really want this corner. Yatu Watu. I would like to have your Fire eyes that. in this direction. The Advent Captain would serve our purposes nicely if it can be disabled. All right, Freeman up here. Focus. And we need sheep to start working toward the officer. I'm thinking this corner. Officers walking away. They never cooperate. Drones going away as well. That's kind of nice. Kind of very nice, actually. Oh, it's one of those church buildings. Okay. Maybe it would be okay if we do stalk towards the officer to start with. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. What do we have here? A flanky snake and a snipey, a uh, snipey snake. If sheep could go just a little further, we'd have a much cozier spot to hide in. Jacobek, um, probably down here is good, but let's not block sheep just yet. Yeah, I think we're all going to do some improper stealthing in the middle of the street here. I keep not putting... Oh, there's someone here. That's good information. I keep not putting a spider suit on Yatu, and I keep regretting it. I'm going to do it next time. Okay, if someone is right there... Was that the same... the officer? I think it must be, actually. I thought they went more this way. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Alright, we can see them now. That's better. I think we'll have sheep. Could get spotted by a drone if we go here, potentially. This is theoretically a little dangerous already. I think. Yeah, if that drone goes in exactly the wrong direction for us, Yatu's gonna get spotted. But I don't think that's terribly likely. I actually think I'd like to avoid the officer for now and kill some other squads. Ten four. And uh, fight the codex with less stuff on the map. Moving. Yeah, whatever. Okay. It's pretty awkward actually at the moment. For one play or the other. If I could grapple up here, that would be very, very nice. I could start with a snipe. We've actually got a very good chance to one shot the flanky snake. Um, but that leaves a snipey snake able to get behind cover and start sniping. Hmm. We do have a lot of time on this mission, so there's no need to rush. On 
unfortunately I don't have a way up or through this building that's reasonable with how much vision these guys have. With Yatu. With sheep, it's less of a problem. Sheep is the one we need to get close to the officer. They can't even potentially spot sheep next turn with this. Um, and I guess we'll put Freeman over here. Yatu Watu. Yatu Watu. Really awkward potential spots to move here. Uh, maybe just go up here. And I think I'll leave Jakubek right there. Take advantage of uh, steady hands as well. Alright. Snakes are going away. These guys are coming closer, but I think if we start a fight with them, the snakes are going to see. But it still might be the best way to go about it. Um... Maybe it's possible to skulljack them without waking up the snakes. Except, I'm pretty sure sheep would be just stuck in the open if we did that. Affirmative. Moving out. So it's not going to be this turn. Do we see anything up here? Nope. Fantastic. Uh, Yatu is actually stuck, and so is Jakubek, so we're definitely going to overwatch with them. Freeman is... Going to go to the heavy cover. And Stardust is, of course, going to steady weapon. If they would just go somewhere where we can at least have some cover when we get the officer, that'd be great. If we shoot at them and then Skulljack, there's a decent chance the officer's going to run to somewhere where we can do that. He might just run back here, though. But we can't wait forever. Also, that is a level 3 sentinel, I believe. 80 aim, double shot with reaction fire, cool under pressure. 5 to 10 plus 3 damage. We don't really want to be messing with that. Maybe they'll turn around and go back this way, if we're very lucky. The office is already facing that direction. Maybe that's exactly what's going to happen. Let's get Yatu over here. This is where we want to fight him anyway, if we can. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I don't think it's going to help to get sheep closer. Chuckabek. Over here. Position confirmed. We'll keep our sniper in the same spot. Potentially getting flanks. Maybe I can get burned, stabbed, and poisoned before the day's done. Also gets us further away from the drones. We're not going to reaction fire. I think I will get sheep up here. We can see this way. Alright, this is actually looking decent as long as they come back. Very, very good, actually. No, the snakes are back. I could snipe the snipey snake. It's got a lot of health, though.
Oh, that's not good. Now I don't want to snipe. Not when something is in... Oh, that's that drone could already see. Maybe I go back here. With Stardust. I think I will do that. And these guys are stuck. Yep. Very stuck. We know of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 6 to 9 enemies, so that's good. I don't think I want to scout any further with sheep, because we need sheep to be able to use the skulljack. I could potentially... Even though we're not getting a snipe this turn, how am I able to see that drone still? Um, I shouldn't be able to see that drone, should I? Oh. I see. I definitely want reaction fire from Jacobek. I could burn both of the snakes. But now the reaction fire might get wasted on the officer. I could burn the snakes, stun the central uh, sentinel, and skulljack. We might not get a better opportunity to deal with the snakes this easily. And I could use a command if I really want to. Okay, I... I think we're gonna have to. Because... They could just find us next turn. We did find them, like, here to start with. So their patrol pattern does include that area. Alright, it's a little sketchy, but I don't think it's going to get much better than this. Explosives keep my options open in a way nothing else can. They really do. Flanky Snake is dead. This guy's burning, I think. Yes. Oh, there's another one! Bruh. That's not cool. Oh, that's bad. At least the flanky snake is maybe not close enough to do serious flanky snake thing. He can actually uh, flank Jacobek this turn. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, um... We really need to deal with the sentinel as well. I think we need to bust out all the damage we can get this turn. Even if it risks being spotted by something over here. We can almost guaranteed kill the snake. This guy's going to be flanked. He's going to move, which might make the rest of his turn less effective. He'll probably come and shoot Jacobek in the face, though. Um, I was thinking we would stun this guy. It's not even theoretically possible to kill him in one turn with Yatu. And we're obviously going to ignore the drone for one turn. If we do flesh, we're probably going to get seen by this drone as well. If we don't... I really don't want to leave that snake up. Up to nine damage. Oh, it doesn't have hit and slither. It's still going to go for the flank, though. Hmm. Yeah, I think I kind of have to. Don't know that we're going to be facing explosives next turn. Alright, this is a little sketchy. But sheep, if you please, delete snake. 
And we do indeed see the drone. And that just leaves Yatuwatu, who we're going to have stun this guy. On your order. Yep. What? Get cooked. So I could potentially one-shot a drone with this um, stun gun. Oh, that's good. He's not getting a flank or anything, at least. He wasted his turn. Very nice. But our ranger is going to get stunned. About as 80% chance, I'd say. Oh, two turns? Really? Okay, that's kind of broken. Um, I might... Hmm... Between Freeman and Yatu, we could kill the sentry. I do have a flank shot on the officer. 8 plus 14... Uh, 8 plus 4, 12. 13 plus 4 would be a kill. There's a decent chance to kill him outright. Do I give up the bonus? I can obviously execute either of these uh, drones. I don't have pistol range, and I don't have a grapple. How much damage can he do to the sentinel? 13 plus 4. He, there's a very small chance of killing him outright. There's a decent chance of doing enough damage to him that Freeman could execute him without even using a grenade. And if that happens... Well, I can't use the stun gun this turn. I do have like a 72% to probably one-shot a drone. Better if I get closer. Alternatively... If I'm going for the bonus objective, we need to flashbang the officer this turn. Realistically. We definitely need to kill this guy before he gets an action. I think I'd rather damage him and then go for the snipe kill. question is, am I going to spend a grenade on this? 4 to 7 versus 3 to 6. It's one more damage. I think not. I'm doing this because I want to. This is the second time lately I've wished I brought the more powerful SMG instead of the plus aim. Alright, 8 to 13 plus 4. Pretty good chance of a one hit kill here. Well, second hit. This looks interesting. Fantastic. Your bodies, that's how I roll. And we'll steady weapon. Now we've got Yatu Watu free to act against any one of these three threats. Uh, I think we will go for. I'm the on slug it. shot on the drone. 78 or 78, I wonder. Probably the one that's closer. Well, I guess they're about the same range. No, that one's definitely closer. Oof. Well, that drone will at least be useless for one turn. Maybe not. Oh. Really? Okay. Crit for one, though. Apparently it does zero to one damage. Alright, I can't use a grenade this turn, and I've got barely any mobility on the Freeman. 
Yatuwatu is also disoriented, and we don't have our other two up yet. It's all down to Stardust. I'm very tempted to snipe the officer. If you're expanding your pool, sure. Definitely. Uh, I don't have a pistol shot, so... Is it too greedy? I think it is. I think it's too greedy to go for the Codex this mission at this point. Goodbye, officer. And I think I'll use the bonus action to move forward this time. That just leaves Yatu Moving to, position. to execute this drone, I hope. Fantastic. Freeman, Target I need you to do the same thing even though your head is spinning. 69%? Let's do just this. avoid getting spotted by some theoretical enemy over here. 76. That's unfortunate. Now you're going to get stunned. That's probably fine. Really? That's just rude. <laughs> yes, it is. Alright. Freeman, get your revenge. Normally, I'd need a really it's really probably going to be off for a week. I think I'll have Stardust reaction fire before we take a peek in this general direction. There could still be a couple of enemies on the map. Um, I do want that loot. I think we'll grab it with Yatu and run Jack back up. I'm all over it. And we'll wait here for a minute with Sheep. Got it covered. To Overwatch. Looks like they called in some friends. All right, we need to hurry up now. This is actually kind of bad. Do I take the risk to save one turn to move sheep up? I think I do. Tired of waiting around. And everyone else get ready for reaction shots. Let's get some height advantage here. Seems doable. Potentially. Um, Freeman back okay. here. Oh, hold on. I'm ready. Let me reload. I'm ready. Yatuwatu, wherever. And Stardust, of course, Overwatch. Oh, we can see them. That's good. Two troopers? Should be able to get on with the mission with no trouble. One of them's a tier 2. I'm surprised we're still occasionally seeing a trooper with 4 hit points. Um, okay. I think he's dead. Um, yikes. Alright, Jackabek, I'm going to want you to not get set on fire. Let's hack the objective. Well, it's unfortunate that we are not using a specialist for this mission. Probably won't get it anyway. But enemy protocol is a precious reward, that's for sure. Let's start running people out. Where's the object? Uh, the evac. 
that's wow, oh, that's far. Okay, we're probably going to have to do some more fighting, even if we've already cleared out the entire map. Can we see where we can go? There we go. Um, let's follow the path where we're least likely to be seen because we've already been there. Can we get through here? Probably not. And sheep. Stay with our little ducklings. Jacobek, get away from that fire. Actually, take this turn to reload. Same thing Can with do. Freeman. Yeah, keep on gargling. I'm reloading. I'm going. Uh, and I obviously don't need to use a free reload right now. Come get some. Ready to go. Oh. No free shots, please? Oh, come on. Uh, at least it was only a rebel, as opposed to the rookie, who might become a good. Uh, Psyop. That's annoying. Because... Statistically, like, this is where we should have expected the last group that we haven't seen yet. Not the exact angle that we already came through. Alright, uh, let's probably let's go. greet them cordially with Freeman. Still can't see the officer. Can we kill this guy outright this turn? Is it better to run? I don't have any line of sight with our sniper. I might have line of sight on the officer, but I won't be able to tell until we put a rebel somewhere where you can see. Uh, well, this guy's not going to be helping this turn. Let's get you out of there. Same goes for you. And the question is, do I blue move to get a line of sight on the officer? Or do we just run? I should be able to get a flank uh, zappies up with Yatu. Run and gun wouldn't be that good this turn yeah. anyway. We got 88%. 100% on the stunner. This will be a turn and a half. Yeah, I think we just run. I hope the officer can't get line of sight again next turn, but we'll see. And Jacobek. Potentially get a reaction shot, but I don't think so. Money. And we didn't end up doing anything with Freeman. Whoops. I don't get it. Scanning. Covering now. Oh, come on. And we didn't get a reaction shot, even though he's crept into line of sight. Straight through the heavy cover, max damage. Just maximally fair. This guy has killed... This guy has done like a perfect shot every turn. All 
Right, let's get our little ducklings over here so we don't have to think about them. Um, I could, like, set him on fire, but then we're dealing with the flamethrower next turn. I think we should just run. The only trouble is... Yatu's mobility is now so bad. This is the millionth time I've wished for a grapple for Yatu this mission. Yatu's mobility is now bad enough that I can't get him behind cover as he runs away properly. I guess over here? Double time. And I'll once again put Stardust on Reaction Fire. Oh, I could give him another action with Sheep. Probably should have done that to begin with. I don't think we really need it. On the move. Got it. I'm a track star. I'm amazing. Scanning. Right. They're bringing in reinforcements. And we are leaving. And we still didn't get a reaction shot, even though we saw him. Can I grapple? Where can I grapple? One spot in particular. Okay. Good talk. Okay. Uh, Jacobek. I want to get you in a decent reaction fire spot. Let's get all our little ducklings over here. And we do have a lot of ground to cover still. Rolling out. I think we'll be sprinting. Getting crazy now. One more little duckling over here. And I'm really not feeling good about Yatu's mobility. I probably will end up using a command for him. Alright, I'd love to get a reaction shot with Stardust, but we gotta get moving. On the move. We'll be able to grapple if necessary. On Overwatch. I think we don't have line of sight to these guys. Maybe? No, we do. You there and now you're real. Uh, if I'd hidden Freeman, then we wouldn't be seeing these guys. If I'd put him like here, for example. It's hard to see with all this x-ray vision, but yeah, three solid walls. I could have done it. Alright, who can get out? Obviously these guys. Thank you, camera. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. And this guy can get... This guy's going to take three turns to get there. Jeez. May as well send him this way. We need to delay these guys. They've got a longbow mech, so we're going to be facing explosive damage incoming next turn. More than likely. Yatu, I'll try and keep you hidden and get you in range of command so that you get the explosive resistance. I'm right here. I might potentially give you a command to sprint. What do we got here? The worst trooper in the world, but the sentinel's a bit scary. Stardust has a shot, but it's not very good. I could get hide advantage with Stardust, he would be flanked. I'd have to guarantee killing the mech. 
Jacobek's still healthy. This doesn't count as a flank, weirdly enough. If I put Freeman here, that's low cover. God damn it. But if we flank this guy, he'll waste one action on movement, guaranteed. I could flashbang these two. And that makes this guy very likely to miss. Probably better if we just weather the shot from the trooper. Set this guy on fire more than likely. We've also still got the officer chasing us. The flame is quite slow, I think, so... He's probably effectively out of the play. Come to think of it, there's an officer chasing us. We could still do the Skulljack in theory, but I don't think that's a very good idea at this point. I could flank with Jakobek. He'd be behind low cover, but... Oh, this isn't the person who gets the cover bonus. That's unfortunate. Here? Heavy cover and a flank? Yes, please. Stand for. Okay. Do I want to take a shot with Stardust? I don't think I do. If I gave Jakobek an action right now to take a shot, he'd lose his reaction shot. If this guy's on low enough health to use Execute, uh, Executioner, it might be worth it. I could double grenade. That might be the way to go. Oh, he's just dead. Wow. Okay, that works. Um, let's soften up the... Uh, let's move back a little bit first. Let's move already. And soften up the mech. And potentially kill it with Stardust. Nice, nice. And Stardust, it's all on you. 82% to... unless you graze. It's more like a 60... more like a 70% chance to kill here. Nicely done. And we're safe. Very cool. Alright. Yatuwatu is not going to be able to get out this turn. Maybe with a command. Except I would have to blue move into the evac and then use the command to get everyone out. Also, our little charge right here is not going to make it. So, let's just prepare ourselves. For one more wave of reinforcements. Tired of waiting around. I'm on it. I could delay the reinforcements. Um, actually, no, I couldn't. This is... Oh, I... Yeah, no, I could have delayed them. Whoops. Oh, well. It's going to be fine. We're right next to the evac. Oh, hey, this is smart. This is a great idea. Location confirmed. Got it. And this is back where they can't see us, I think. It's pretty much the same spot. Advent forces 
cool. We are out of here. Here I come. I can handle that. I don't like this. Still needs to sprint just to get to the Turn evac from there. Is that it? Fantastic. Well, we lost. We didn't get the bonus. Um, we're, we're still trying to get the codex done. And we also lost one of the rebels, but not the rookies. Could be worse. Unfortunately, we got two wounds, including a big one on Yatuatu. Twenty-six days, ouch. And two hit points is ten days, apparently, even though we've got a max hit points of, what, like, twelve or something? Uh, perception, data pad, magazine, alright. And now it tells us that we have these negative traits? Can I see them now? Is that how that works? Who else had the negative traits? Uh, I know Morpheus did. I could have I could have sworn I remembered seeing something when there's lots of lots of soldier abilities here that I'd like click something and see the soldier traits, but I see nothing. Okay. Wait, it didn't say they recovered, did it? Surely not. So we have one new rookie. I guess we did lose a rookie. And they only have really low psi ability. Normal health, normal movement, good dodge, slightly, slightly above average aim. Um, this is a very bug-standard rookie we could throw into any role, except for hacking or Psy. Um, so what have we got? Oh, also, while I remember... You probably notice we don't have a lot of music here Yeah, Cavern was radio. lost to... Friendly fire? What? It's not that I wouldn't love to rock the airways with some classic human death metal, but Advent's pretty much got all the good stuff locked down these days. Suppose I could hum a few bars. Friendly fire from self. I don't remember that. I don't I don't know what happened that it might have technically counted it as friendly fire from self. That's pretty strange. What the who? I don't know. I do not remember. What? What the hell? Um, okay, we've got only two assaults. I think I might make an assault. Assaults also are decent for low ranks. Um... I mean, we need them to do way more damage, That that's what requires the high ranks, but we can at least count on them to do something at the low ranks. Uh, we've got three grenadiers, which I think is fine. Three gunners. Three psyops. Only two rangers? But it's going to take forever to train up rangers at this point. Plenty of sharpies. Well, my clap doesn't count. 66 aim sharpie. That's the worst I've ever seen. Uh, plenty of shinobis for once. Plenty of specialists and not that many technicals. I could go technical or assault for this new rookie.
I think we'll go assault this time. And how wounded are we? Very wounded for only a couple of people though. Uh, I don't really want to slow down coil research. I think we'll just, at least for the moment, accept the wound recovery time. And what have we got going on? Smash and grab, and nothing else. We've also obviously got our sabotage mission cooking. There could be a... It's unlikely, but there could be a um, ambush in four days. All right. I really want to work towards getting this black site mission done. I wonder if doing the black site before we've killed a codex means that there just won't be any codexes on that mission. I mean, it's how it works with every other mission. Setting course for sector one, the Arctic. All right, let me do Cavern's new character. We've got a couple of unnamed ones, I think, before the rookie. We've got a new specialist, Gunner, Shinobi, another specialist, and this one's going to be an assault. Uh, also, a PSYOP. I think all the PSYOPs have default names still. Yeah, otherwise I would have given them call signs. Uh, which class do you want, Kevin? Psyop, Shinobi, Gunner, Specialist. Or Assault. New mission. Six days, nine hours. Get Advent's attention in... In the area where we need to do the black site, I don't think we'll be doing that. Not sure what the difference is. Uh, okay, so... Extract advent supplies. That's a good one as well. 8 days, 14 hours, that's perfect. Okay, so assault basically runs up to people and shotguns them in the face. Uh, specialists usually do hacking, but sometimes I make them like medics and overwatch people as well. Psyops is some um, magic BS. Um, Soulfire is a good guaranteed way to hit things, but only bio things. Shinobi is basically uh, swords and or sneak around stealth, uh, in stealth scouting. And the gunner has a big old chain gun. Assault equals Rambo, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, assault is... Let's see. We've got things like... Uh, run and gun, they all have. So you can shoot after dashing. Uh, you can... If you don't use that ability and you get a flank shot, you can get another action back. You can have double shot every turn with negative 15 aim. Uh, lots of damage, chain lightning, stunning every target if you hit them. Uh, some big, like, conal attacks. Uh, basically... Basically the class is a mixture of running into point blank, potentially dealing tons of damage depending on the spec, uh, but also the stun gun is some really good utility. Doing better? Good to hear. Psyops or Shinobi? Alright, cool. I think we're going to be seeing our Psyops more often, so I, I might give you one of those. Um, Jake Johnson is our worst one, because of the mobility, pretty much. 
Oh, and also less psi power. Carlos Ramirez. I'll give you that one. Kevin. All good. Let me know if you have any any requests for the appearance. All negative traits removed on Rorosaur. Fantastic. Uh, I guess Mua should be next. No, we can swap people out for Shmua. Let's get Cavern sorted out. I definitely want to be able to take a Psy up when we have to fight a Chosen again. It's probably going to be our best source of damage, because we can actually hit them. Alright. Let's grab some stuff. Yes, Central, I know. I know. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. Who should we take? Uh, let's see. Extract Advent Supplies. I think this is the one where... This is the version of this mission from Long War... Uh, from War of the Chosen. Where they have all those crates that get nabbed by the helicopter thing. Well, not helicopter. Um, so it's not as important to be able to get in and out super fast. Uh, did we fix Morpheus's traits? I guess it doesn't matter for this mission. I think we did, though. And we'll take... Probably one of the faster technicals, like Tumbling Satellite. Where's Tumbles? Oh, here he is, Haven Advisor. Is Rorosaur rested up? He is. I think we will take Rorosaur. Jakubek. I really want Jakubek to level up. And we need a shinobi or something. We could take sheep again. Or I could take mannequin. Should probably get mannequin leveled up a bit more. On second thought, we desperately need like three tech sergeants or staff sergeants, I think it is. I should be trying harder to level up a few people. And we could probably take two more on this one. This might actually be a really good opportunity um, to do the... Uh, the Skulljack mission. I would take Glacier Wolf, but I need to buy a gun. And we're about to get new tech for guns, coil guns. This looks pretty good. But it's going to be very light if we go with this many people. I think we'll go with five. And they're already equipped, so that seems fine. What is this? Plus 50 aim and plus 50 crit if attacking from concealment. I don't think just one shot from a ranger is how we do an ambush, though. Like, almost ever. Maybe I should give Rorosaur uh, a spider suit. I can't even afford one right now. 
Do we have one lying around? We do. Because his movement's always a problem. And it's not that much less tanky than... Uh, than Predator armor. I'm pretty sure we'd be able to grapple and do an accurate rocket. That could be huge. Maybe I should skip lightning reflexes. Nah, no, these are all bad. Alright, M, don't forget to put some stuff on this mag rifle. We need some... Uh, hair trigger. We've only got regular hair triggers? That's not great. You can't crit yet, can you? On reaction fire? No. Alright, that'll have to do. But we definitely want plus damage Morpheus. Codex doesn't have a have armor. Alright, and we have the Skulljack this time. Fantastic. Away we go. Sky Ranger deploy. Menace ready to deploy. And I think that's enough missions queued up for now. Setting Probably. For the Arctic territories. Maybe I should put people back on supply. If I did find a mission that looked attractive right now, I think we'd be too short on equipment, even if we have enough people. So we'll put everyone on supply. That'll do, actually. Five hours, 14... Uh, five days, 14 hours. Hacky hack, start liberating. Okay, we could maybe do a sneak mission here. Setting course for Indonesia. I don't see us getting a second liberated region anytime soon, but it might be worth looking towards. I only have one... No, I do have a squaddy... Shinobi. And... a specialist. So we're not even going to put armor on them, because that'll just slow them down. They're just going to try to stay hidden. And if they can't do it without fighting, they're not doing this mission. We are going to have the minimum number of enemies on the map. Or oh, the slums, that might be... Well, we'll see when we get there. Not necessarily the best layout for a sneak mission. Commander. On the Avatar project. If we're going to oh, down, great. We'll to move Wait, past. what? Into, into the Avengers Intelligence gra uh, Gathering. That's fine, as long as we're not actually getting hunted right now. Alright, so... Our joint effort paid off like we hoped. We're back where we started this stream, I think. For the avatar progress despite two missions to bring it backward at least it's not as bad as it could be we should probably count a chosen activity let's take well what's our ambush chance right now fourteen uh, if I take these two, this is only going to take four days. 
I think I want Larius available for a, a regular mission. Uh, failure chance goes up a lot if we don't send someone else, though. I need someone with mobility and the ability to clap an enemy, like guaranteed. Why don't we send our Psy up, actually? Do we have some armor to spare? Yeah, we do. Mm, just some regular ceramic plating, I guess. 25% failure, though, because the rank is low. How about Shmua? 3%. That's more like it. That's actually a pretty good... Pretty good choice. Fantastic. My kind will do whatever is needed. Do a die, ladies, indeed. Ninja, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we get coil guns in eight days. And we have a supply drop right before that. So we'll actually be able to afford them. Smash and grab mission is almost ready, I think. Or does it need more? Yeah, we're boosting this one. Cool, cool, cool. Sloda, Bean, Damsel, I Am the Sky, and Zedius. Uh, apart from a couple of these being a little bit slow, that's fine for this mission. Let's see if we can pull this off without a hitch. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's more than one per person, actually. So it shouldn't be too hard to grab everything. Moving out. Depending on placement. Unfortunately, I can't quite get to this cozy little corner. Let's go over here instead. And we see. Looks like hostiles over here. I think there was an officer that just disappeared there. They all have quite a lot of hit points. Rocketeer and... Grenadier. I think that's a Rocketeer. Well, we actually have line of sight to him, but I can't... I, I can't, like, select him or click on him or anything to make sure right now. We've still got the Undying Loyalty sit rep here. That's not great. Zedius actually has Ever Vigilant. Solid Let's copy. put him here. And Sloda, I wanted to put you behind this heavy cover. Probably won't need to shoot I'm this turn, it. though. Sigma Bean. You're not really a shooter, so it doesn't matter too much. Damsel, kind of the same thing, but with less range. Location confirmed. Running. Holding position. Cut. Get holding. I forgot how good Zedius is actually. Ever vigilant, hunker down, and decent aim as well. Oh, that's not what I want to see. That's not a Rocketeer. That is a Shock Trooper. Basically a super grunt. 
Up to 12 damage. Shreds armor. And of course, throws grenades. How am I going to open up on these guys? Normally, I wouldn't bring a sniper to a smash and grab, but... Normally, we wouldn't be immediately confronted with just a wide open area and no angle of attack. I think I want to walk our two shooters into range where they'll get reaction fire next turn, more than likely. That's affirmative. Okay. Let's get as close as we can, but behind cover. Which is to say, not that close. We're kind of already there with Zetius. I want Damsel to be able to grenade them. So I could put her behind this vehicle. She probably could grenade them this turn if that was a blue move. But this will do for now. On it. And Sloda's going to have to Let's be behind low cover. Zedius, I think, just stay there. Unless... Nope. And now. Sigma Bean... Get behind the heavy cover. I'm going. Do I want to give anyone an extra grenade this turn? Probably. Let's give Damsel one. And we can be extra trigger happy with our grenades. And I Am The Sky is probably going to get spotted if they walk into us and we shoot at them. I Am The Sky is either going to get spotted or get stuck. So I think maybe over here to keep our options open. Barga, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Zedius, welcome also. Yes, I am, indeed. <laughs> Love you, you're valued. Thank you. It's very kind of you. That's unfortunate. At least we got a hit. Oh, they're all bunched up. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Those overwatches are not going to help you. Uh, I could set two of them on fire. I could grenade them all. For only three to six damage, though. Uh, or I could gas them. Which I don't think is going to shred their armor, even though we've got... The grenades shred one additional point of armor. I think they have to at least shred some armor to start with. Um, if I use a command... I'd have to move I Am The Sky first. But I could command Damsel to just double flame grenade these guys. Gas grenade would only deal 2 to 4, but they'd be taking 2 damage each turn. And they'd have reduced aim and mobility. I think I'm going to double grenade them. And I wonder... Oh, I don't actually have the skill tandem rockets, uh, tandem warheads. So it does matter how close to the center they are. But normally I take it. Uh, I wonder if it matters if I center the grenade on like this tile to try and destroy the cover, if that's the case. I think, regardless, we're going to start by trying to set these two on fire. Here, catch. Only one officer is burning. 
That's the less threatening of the two, unfortunately. This guy's on a tile that's surely on fire, though. So if he moves, I'm pretty sure he gets set on fire. I'm going to move over here to use a command. And we're going to grenade again. The only question is, do we gas or do we regular grenade? I think we regular grenade. I'd like to try and break the cover. And it's also just more damage up front. Is it too greedy to try and break cover for both of these guys at once? This is pretty flimsy cover, though. Boom! Let's find out. Oh, I see one of them's flanked. The one who's... Uh, more healthy at the moment. 72% twice with Sloda. I don't have... I do have 75 with Zedius. I don't have a guaranteed hit with Hail of Bullets, though. Teamwork. I can give uh, Sigma Bean a movement point, or vice versa. I could also... Guaranteed deal 4 damage to any one of these people. I think I probably want to put Zedius a bit closer. Maybe even hit. No, that's too risky. Let's do this. And we'll try and get this guy low enough to kill. I might have winged him. Well, it's not nothing. Sloda, could you please mess him up? Not quite what I was looking for. I think we'll throw our flashbang with our last action here. Light him up. And I'm not expecting anything from Sigma Bean this turn. Not, not against three fleshy enemies. It's a tiny, tiny risk to move up here. Them. That's fine. I could try... I could actually attempt to hit all three of them. May as well. Don't bother if any of them get hit... Oh, wow. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> Never mind, Sigma. Um, that was great, actually. Oof. It only hit the ablative armor. I'm pretty sure this guy can't move, otherwise he'll be set on fire. In any case, he's flanked now. The uh, cover collapsed the next turn. The officer is already dead. He's on fire with boosted cores. Um, and I might get Sigma to guarantee kill this guy. Unless we can just shoot him normally. Let's see, 92% at least once. Fantastic. How, many is that now? How about this guy right here? Who's keeping score? Oh, that's not great. It's not the biggest threat in the world. 86% size zombie, Zedius, if you please. Fantastic. Who's keeping score? And I am the sky. Please do some scouting. Probably over here makes the most sense. Alright. Um, Sigma Bean. Yeah, you may as well overwatch, I guess. I could move up and take this loot, but I think that is far too risky right now. I'll move Damsel up, but where we've seen that there aren't enemies. And maybe I'll do the same thing with Sigma, actually.
that's a lot of loot to tempt me to go out in the open where we don't know if enemies are there or not. Confirmed. Oh, I saw two health Enemy bars. Sighted. Three, four. Okay, we've killed three, that's four. Uh, seven. There could be up to two more enemies. Rolling. I think it's worth the risk to pick these up now. Except no one can do it with a blue move. Hmm. I think I did... I might have seen a robot or something. Damsel's not going to have that much range next turn. Let's put her over here and we'll probably blue move to pick up these two. The point of this mission is to gain stuff after all. I could run Zedius up to the heavy cover for reaction fire, but other people aren't going to be ready to follow it up. Actually, I could put Sloda and Zedius no behind the heavy cover here. That seems fine. Is it clear? Reloaded. Got it covered. Moving In on cover. It. Risk, indeed. Risk it. Derek, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, all right. Before I do anything, I'd like to try to find out where they are. Moving on target location. Alas, I've only got seven turns. It's actually not that bad. Okay. I would love to move up to this heavy cover and this heavy cover, but I think there's a decent chance we get spotted doing that. This is also a great Ready opportunity to, to reload for Sloda. Damsel, grab the loot. Depth perception, agility, sigh. Uh, could be better. Could be worse. Covering now. Movement here. Holding. Standing fast. Okay. If we don't see them soon, we're gonna need to get a bit more aggressive. Heading there now. Oh. Oh, they're still in the exact same spot, I think. What do we have here? Rocketeer, flamer. Please tell me that's not a commando. I think it is. And an officer. Okay, that's kind of bad. Sigma Bean can't do anything specialized against them. Uh, what's good is that we can move up this far. And get ready for reaction shots, at least. Oh wow, we would get seen right here. We didn't see them last turn, so they have been moving around. Um... I don't think they're aware of us. Hmm. Can't get up there. I would love to get up there. Okay, I want Damsel as close as possible to potentially grenade them, but if I put her here... Does that risk getting spotted needlessly? Uh, it's hard to tell, but I think so. No, I think it's good actually. Copy that. And we'll put. Ooh, that. If I hadn't waited for the camera to settle, that could have been bad. Let's move already. Put Zedius and Sloda up here. Here I come. And Sigma Bean. Close. I don't there. think they ever get to use AoE as a free action. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. Cover it. I think they see us. No? Alright. 
I don't suppose Damsel could gas grenade them. Oh. Okay. I think she can hit all of them. I think that's how we're going to start. And do I want to put anyone on reaction fire? Possibly. I might want suppression fire from Zedius. If I reaction fire with Sloder, I don't get two light em up shots, but it'd just be at something hiding behind heavy cover anyway. So I think we do reaction fire. And then. I'll keep Zedius here to potentially move somewhere and do suppression fire. Sigma Bean might end up using combat protocol. Alright. I don't think we're going to get a better opportunity against this lot. This is for you. Damsel, give him a whiff of... Oh, don't tell me the officer isn't getting gassed. Okay. Only two of them are poisoned, actually. Spotted flanked and oh you climbed up the ladder. I got nothing. Okay. So I think only two of them are poisoned. Uh the commando was poisoned, that's very good. And the heavy rocketeer is poisoned. I don't think that stops him from rocketing though. Purifier's over here, we can flank him. Actually, Zedius can't flank him without running. Or maybe he can if Sigma moves first. Question is, who do we sword? We've got only 94% on the commando. Everyone else is... A guaranteed hit, except we could get a graze on the officer. Unfortunately, we didn't bring a Skulljack this time. If we flesh the Rocketeer, we're going to be exposed. And or poisoned. Does command range cover back here? It does not. I could blue move, do incoming to reduce rocket damage, and then flesh something. I think we'll have Sigma being flank these two. They'll want to move. Get out of the way of Zedius. Zedius might be able to get a flank as well. And I might use Iron Curtain again because it'll slow this guy down if it hits him. And a slow purifier is a much less scary purifier. KKF, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should wait to see what Zedius can do. Because if I get a guaranteed execution with um, combat protocol, then I think I'd rather use that. And that is precisely what we get. Alright, Purify is down. He did not explode. I don't know if that's predetermined or if the dice roll happens when you kill them. Uh, I think with the way XCOM RNG is, it's probably rolled beforehand. But... No way of knowing. Potentially I could have sliced him up without him exploding in my face. Um... I've only got I Am The Sky left, action-wise. And not any good choices. Honestly. 
I could command someone, but I don't think there's any... I guess Damsel? Damsel's got one of each type of grenade still. She can probably only hit the Rocketeer. Can I even get line of sight to Damsel with a blue move? Uh, I don't think so. I can, but be in a very precarious spot. Well, this spot's not that precarious. It's definitely not great. None of these spots are great. I could come down here and take a flank shot at the Rocketeer. I've already got a flank shot at the Rocketeer from up here, actually. Up to 8 damage if we're very lucky. It has to crit to kill him, and we have to high roll. Is he stuck in poison, or is he already poisoned? I don't think he is. Oh, he is poisoned. So we don't need that much damage. I'd love to grab loot on the same turn, but that's not going to happen. It might be a tiny risk to move back here to be a bit safer from the others, but... No, I think this is fine. 100%. And he's dead to poison. Nice. So we've got two nasty threats to deal with. An uncontrolled officer and a poisoned commando. Uh-oh. Oh, he goes on Overwatch. Why did I lose sight of him? Okay, that was scary. Alright. Bloody commandos. Do I have a flank on the commando if I open this? Well, I'm going to do it regardless. I don't No, he's in that tile right there, isn't he? I could suppress them. We've only got a 30 and a 23 here. That's pretty damn bad. I could uh, ping him with combat protocol. Put him down to 7 health. That officer has way too many hit points for my liking. I could move Damsel up here. I can't flame both of them this turn, unfortunately. But I can grenade them, get rid of the Overwatch and damage them both. Understood. Moving out. All right. Who do I want more damage on? Probably the commando, if anyone. Fire in the hole. Oh, and he's flanked now. Yes, please. Alright, how much BS dodge or whatever does this commando have? 25? And 15 defense? I've only got... Probably less than 50% chance to get a good hit here. But it would kill him outright. If I do area suppression, we don't get a reaction shot on this guy, because we can't get a reaction shot on this guy. He just arbitrarily, arbitrarily doesn't trigger Overwatch or any kind of reaction fire. I could slicey dice still kind of bad odds to kill him. Vexen, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What do we got from Sloda? Nothing. That's weird, considering this wall is busted. Um, I can get a flank shot with, uh, with Sloda. And we would have... We would have the Executioner bonus with that. Hold on. 
This commando just shot Sloder, but sl and, and didn't move, but Sloder can't see him? Really? I okay, game. Alright. I could go to the light cover. I hate that idea. I could go here. We'd be open to area of effect from the officer. I think we'll just go Finally. back a little bit. 81%. Um, I could use focus fire. That would only increase it a little bit. Plus 5 or plus 10, depending on if I take a shot with this guy first. I think I'd rather try for the execution and suppress the officer. Okay. And I could try Slicey Dice Officer, but it has to crit to kill him. Zedius can suppress. He can't do anything special and his aim will be bad. Sigma Beam can ping him with his last combat protocol and then we're sad if we see a mech. I could just... Okay, if I sword him and we get 7 damage, we can actually execute him with Sigma Beam. Let's do that. Perfect. Alright, Sigma. Alright, I'll go. Combat protocol. Be gone. And now there's only potentially two enemies on the map. I don't think there's any enemies on the map based on the computer didn't seem to think about it. Alright, can we pick up five of these items in a couple of turns? Damsel should probably go for the nearest one. Hard to say. That's probably the nearest one for Damsel. Roger that. Sloder, I actually just want you close to the evac. But you could probably get that up there in a couple of turns. And you have Overwatch. Zedius, probably over okay, here. Moving. Sigma Beam, probably go for this one. But I think we should wait Location one turn. Confirmed. If you say so. Okay. Whoop. So, here it is. Let's find out if we see What's anything. Should have gone to the cover in case I wanted to I use an it. action, actually. Damsel's one tile away from picking this up this turn. Rolling out. Unfortunate. Slow to we pick this up. And start running back. No need to ask twice. Location confirmed. And being back this way as well. Is it clear? Dig it in. Now we start running. Commander, we're losing the AO and our forces in the process. No, we're not. I'd strongly advise we consider pulling the squad out of there. Got it. We'll do. Moving. I, I guess that'll be okay. Pretty sure there's no one left. On the move. Pretty sure. Already there. Overwatch. All standing. Moving to Overwatch. They got friends. And next turn reinforcements. Double time. Can we delay them? Nope. Okay, I'll go. On it. I'm 
all over it. Double time. And that's it. I hope Damsel can at least get out next turn. Actually, no, that'll be fine. Moving to covering now. Maintaining covering now. We've got a command if need be. No, we can't even see them. Fantastic. And Damsel can get out anyway. Let's move already. Here I come. What, what's over there? I hope it's worth it. Packing it and in. we're out. This is Apart from that one shot straight through heavy cover, that went well. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Once again, one of our rangers is out for a while. Unfortunate. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Simulated explosions. Never had any doubts about your capabilities, Commander. I am the sky levels up. Always. Twenty-four days out for Sloda, that's really unfortunate, and still not leveling up. Forty-eight alloys is excellent. Fourteen crystals is good, one core. Uh and some kind of mediocre stuff. Two depth perceptions? Good grief. I mean, they're good, but you don't need that many of them. Alright, I am this guy. Um, probably going to take low profile. Really? Oh yeah, you're going flanky. What's your mobility? 16, even with all of this stuff. And no spider suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where this is going. We're going to give you hit and run. So in that case... I don't know. You've got 28 dodge. You're gonna have lightning reflect. Yeah, that doesn't really help when you're stationary. Hmm. This is actually a pretty hard choice. What's your aim like? 70. It's not that great. I can see a lot of blade storms missing. Yeah, let's go for the low profile. This character reminds me of an old-school League of Legends commentator, Joe... Don't call me Joe Miller Miller? What? Okay, I'm gonna take a short break there. Uh, I'll throw up some words on stream for the moment. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Once we get this started. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Falco said twitter.com. Benny would have definitely said that if he were alive in the 1800s 1810s. Why the romantic movement is objective lie not music. My father is a basso continuo trained pianist and he Okay, let's continue, shall we? Where were we? We just finished that smash and grab? Duke and Sloder, 20-something days to recover. That's unfortunate. Still got two missions cooking. Um, and here is potentially another one. Three days, one hour, hacky hack, start liberation. Not gonna happen. Especially because it's light. Let's grab some more intel. And we scan. Seven days, 14 hours, sabotage. I don't think we're doing a sabotage. 35 intel. Normally, I think there would be two rewards here, so that might be... No, I don't think... I don't think Sabotage Monument is ever part of the Liberation chain. It also makes everyone lethargic, this mission. I don't think we want that. It works on Advent as well, but not robots. Alright, we've got... Very light, that's not ready yet. And we scan. Recruited to Haven in New Australia. Fantastic. And then, what do we have here? A technical, there's no time left though. I would love to take that mission. Midden has Collector and probably... Oh! I think Midden's going to be our first... Uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Fire discipline, I think I prefer over defense. Kill them before they get to shoot at us. And we scan again. Four days, 14 hours. Permanent close combat specialist. Yikes. Destroy relay is often a bad mission. Psionic storm. High levels of psionic enemies, so sectoids. Or possibly our first giant golf ball. Um, that's scary. Grants Archons the close combat specialist ability. Archons specifically. Close combat specialist is where they get a free ranged attack, right? Fire a free reaction shot with your shotgun against any visible enemy within four tiles who moves or fires. Considering that I often want to deal with an Archon at least partly by having a Ranger, uh, sorry, a Shinobi slice them up. That could be bad. But like... Four days, 14 hours. We're going to have to boost it. We do get intel back, and we get an intel package. We should probably take this. Setting course for Sector 16, Indonesia. It's just going to have to be a, a little tight. There is an unusual amount of psionic energy permeating this entire area, Commander. I would expect we will find various Maybe we could even try deployed in the field here. New King, shut up, Central. Why are you like this? We, it's literally already being infiltrated somewhere. Uh, 
what do we have? Stardust and or nope, just Stardust for a sniper. Could take Sigma Bean again. Already rested. I am the sky, perhaps. Um, and we're already very light. Yeah, we're gonna boost it, definitely. Ouch. If we take five people and boost it, it's still 10 to 12 enemies. Do I take four people? The thing is, we need the DPS against the... against the relay. And this ain't it. Oh, we do have Larius with, uh, Banish. I wish we had an, an Elite Magazine already. Advanced isn't too bad, though. I could make him a better scope while we're here. Yeah, I think, uh... 5 to 9, up to 5 shots. And we literally can't miss the relay. So the aim penalty doesn't matter. So minimum 25 damage. Maximum... Uh, 40... Why am I blanking on this? 45 damage? Which would one-shot the relay? We're not going to one-shot it, but... But I would say we probably have what we need to kill the relay in Larius. Do we really need two scouts? We do have a concealed start. What if we can't sneak up as close as we'd like, though? Hmm. I haven't leveled up a Ragamuffin at all. I haven't really had a chance. Even with only Larius, it's still going to be very light. I guess taking only one person doesn't give us that much of an infiltration bonus, weirdly enough. And how about Glacier Wolf for the damage? I don't think I've got a weapon available though. Oh, we do. Yeah, Zedius just came back. Or I could take Zedius instead. I think I could take Zedius. He might be tired. He's slightly tired. Hmm. I do want to level Zedius up. Glacier Wolf is more of a tank. And a tank isn't really what we need right now. don't have a spider suit available for Stardust right now, though. Maybe... Maybe I do take a Shinobi instead here. But instead of the laser Sten gun... We want... Oh. Well, I'm not gonna make... I'm not gonna make a... What is it called? Stutter Mag. Right before we unlock... Coil Guns. 
We can slice it twice per turn, if it comes to that. But I'm actually thinking of trying kind of a sneaky way to kill it. Hmm. Do I want to give Larry a steady hands? I think I've thought about this before. Plus 10 crit, plus 4 crit for each kill that mission. Huh. Pretty expensive, though. I think I'd rather get Apex Predator. No, he doesn't have high crit as it is. The thing is, Larius is always moving around. Except for when he reloads to use Banish, for example. Well, when we have Light him up, he'll start getting more benefit out of Steady Hands. May as well take it now. Oh, I haven't taken this skill? Cheap shot might be worth... I'll think about it. Oh, Sigma Bean has the stutter mag. There it is. Maybe Damsel instead of Sigma Bean. Ah. Uh. I basically want to sneak into position and snipe the relay. Larius. So we're going to want to be holding our position kind of far from the relay, which means some grenades would be good. I think that's how it'll go. How's RNGs is treating you this fine day? Not too good. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we did have a couple of strong hits through heavy cover on the first attempt by the enemy so far today. But it's fine. It's fine. Damsel's actually got pretty good aim. Alright, let's go for the stutter mag. And we're definitely giving Damsel some actual armor, even though she's pretty tanky. And I th think this has to be it. Mm -hmm. Alright. So for the most part, we're going to try to use... I am the sky to get line of sight for the relay, uh, and we're going to use banish to destroy it. In hope, oh, if we're very lucky, one turn, but um, more like two turns probably, maybe. All right, hacky hack, extremely light, squatty shinobi, and squatty specialist. This is a sneak mission. Good luck to us. This mission is by no means critical, but obviously it would be better if we don't lose soldiers here. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Okay. Oh, and these are two of the squaddies that are scared of the Chosen as well. Alright, so... Our target is a little far away. More importantly... Oh my goodness. We're going to have to be inside this thing to get line of sight. More than likely. 
I don't think... I don't think we're going to be able to do this one. We'll have a look. Improper stealthing in the middle of the street. Let's go over here. No need to ask maybe, maybe that was a bit risky, actually. There could be a drone this way still. Heading out. We see nothing. Is it too risky to go that far? There's no need to risk it. Let's, Let's have a peek just a little further up. And that looks like it's going to be fine. Okay. Enemies on the move. It's been a, quite a while since I saw such a tiny health bar. Alright. Oh, what's this hack? Central command. 6%. <laughs> We can hack every single robot if we're very lucky. That does tell us that there are robots on this mission. Um, but we should expect a drone or two regardless. Affirmative, moving out. And... I'm not loving these options. I guess we'll go Good over copy. here. Moving on target. That's a big one. Good thing we're not going to be fighting it one way or the other. Okay. How far can I throw evac? Not that far. We can... Get a look at where we can get line of sight to the objective, and indeed, there is nowhere outside of this train that we can actually hack this thing. So if we're going to pull this off, we need to get our specialist in here. Um, we need to get our specialist to hide in this train, and then hack and get out when the uh, uh, when the Avenger comes I'm trying to see it looks like if I hide here do we have line of sight it's really hard to tell this version of line of sight preview is just not that good but I th think maybe if we hide right next to it, the objective, it's going to be a relatively hard to spot us. Short health bar kings unite. Spadge. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Not the size of the health bar that matters, but how you use it, indeed. Okay, I'm a little scared of, like, civilians or something down here. I'm also a little scared moving our shinobi this way, but... Pick your poison. Okay. And it has to be the... Uh, specialist who throws the evac. Roger that. Otherwise we'll lose stealth on both of our people. So basically what I'm thinking of is... We run all the way into here. And toss an evac back this way. And hope nothing comes through while we're trying to wait it out. Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Ragnarok, good to see you again. Michelle, this vegan. Welcome, welcome also. How's your stream today? How's Oni going? Uh, let me give you a shout-out real quick. There we go. 
Yo, 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 how are the fighters? Uh, not bad. You've been wrecking things, as any good grenadier should. Uh, how bold should I be with this specialist moving up, I wonder? Heading out. Really good, brought the dupes back from the brink of starvation. Nice. Okay. This is obviously risky no matter what. Let's move our specialist up here. And then next turn we're gonna... Un unless we see someone here. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh no. Wow. <laughs> but I can't get in. Unless I jump to the other side first, which is obviously very risky. Our shinobi is stuck as well. I think they're just going to patrol around here, probably, but this could be very bad. Moment of truth? Yeah, I think we have to risk running our specialist in here. Hope I can toss an evac back there. Hope we don't get seen by something on this side. And pray that they don't find our shinobi this turn. Um, I mean, the other option is just, like, run our specialist away and toss the evac. And there's still a good chance the shinobi will die. So this is interesting. Always heard about XCOM 2, but never seen it. Indeed. Okay. I need to make sure I can toss an evac here-ish. So... Fingers crossed. Confirmed. Okay, we see nothing. That's what we want to see. And then we toss out evac here, which weirdly, weirdly enough they can't see. Can I get an evac here? Also discovered a fun hack with the deodorizers. How does that work? And now we should be able to see much better. Yeah, we do have surprisingly good of a hiding spot back here. So, it's possible, even if we lose our shinobi, we win the mission? we got to hold out for four turns, though. So I overpressurized the space right above my EO water tank. They don't seem to have a max pressure with deodorizers. Okay, so... Um... Oh, apparently my words on stream wasn't paused. We've been losing over and over again. Rip. Uh, so the deodorizers will suck in like an unlimited amount of gas. Um, I'm just going to hunker because an SMG shot is going to accomplish nothing except maybe alerting more enemies. <gasps> Lucky. Lucky. I think we win this mission. Let's get up here where we can see where the enemies are. I mean, we can't see them right now from here, but we can see the ones that matter. And we're not going to hack until the last turn. They're coming back. I don't like that, but it's not a surprise. Let's stay here. Actually, let's see how far they can move. Yeah, that should be fine. Or I could bring our shinobi back down here to be a bit safer. Moving to position. I mean, something could come from here, but seeing it isn't going to help that much. I'll DM it to you? Yeah, I do. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, we have to hack this turn. And Sky Ranger obviously isn't here yet. As long as we don't 
physically get blocked from moving next turn. It should be fine. Accessing system. Uh, we're obviously going to take the better chance. It's only 11% difference. I mean, we're probably not going to get it either way, but... That's actually kind of a difficult choice. Let's go for the better chance. Ooh. Wait, did it... Did we get... Did we get the intel or not? That graphic seemed a bit misleading. Okay, the enemies are now running this way. Uh, and that'll be including these dogs. Probably just stay there. And hunker down here as well. No? I thought they were alerted. Okay, we are out of here. I might... Oh, I can move the shinobi here first. Fantastic. I'm trusting you here. Hello. Unspotted. Goodbye. Can I... Can I leave, please? Hello? There we go. BRB after regular doggo adventures, indeed. Fantastic. That was a good mission. It was a very successful mission. It really was. Especially since the first thing I said, looking at the layout, was this might be impossible. Very lucky we only saw the one pod. And we get two promotions. No longer squaddies. Alright, what do you got? Low aim, good health, decent mobility, good dodge. I'll probably just make you a spy- oh yeah, I already planned this actually. You are for the sneaky missions. And Lina Singh uh, has good aim, decent mobility, bad dodge. Hack is average, I think. Uh, but we've got a hacker or two already. We'll go for the sentinel route. Okay. We've got another mission or two cooking still. Uh, that being another supply run. I think we were going to boost this one. Four hours until 100%. Three days, four hours. Oh, I might not boost that one. Uh, but this one we are going to need to boost. Two days, not happening. Especially for a rescue mission. And... Indeed, let's try to over-infiltrate. So we don't have to spend intel. Nice. I think we've done all the really critical uh, covert actions this this month. Uh, what do we want to go for? How many? How much time do we have left? Three days until supply drop. This is our last choice before this gets refreshed. We're not that far off having 
some tech sergeants so we can actually do the last of the Hunt the Chosen missions. So maybe I should start working towards those. They do take a while. Yeah, let's get some of those out of the way. Buvim and Crimson. We'll do it a little bit quicker. 22% ambush. Don't worry, Commander. Should be fine. We're only five days till coil guns now. Fantastic. Uh, Asia has recovered. Cool, cool. I wish, uh, I wish it would pause when negative trait removal is finished, because we've got to put someone else in there. I think Shmua is an obvious choice here. Okay. Two days, four hours, not going to happen. That's unfortunate, because a scientist would be good. Extremely light. Fantastic. Uh, we got Morpheus, Rorosaur, Jacobek, Sheep Saymet, and Knoised. Grabbing some loot. But it'll be different from the last loot grabbing mission. I believe this is the one with the sky hooks. Operation Frost Witch. Up in the wilderness. Advent forces are in the process. Some very alien supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity oh, wow. to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates um, of Kinda glad I brought a sniper this rest. time. Considering the terrain we've got to start with here. It's not great for trying to pick an angle to not get spotted, though. I guess we'll run sheep up here for starters. And who has... Here we go, Jacobek. I wanted to run Jacobek up here so we could see better what our options are. For terrain. Jacobek's options are actually kind of bad. Let's just move him up here as well. Borosaur has grapple this time. Knoised doesn't have ever vigilant. Let's just put him here for now. And Morpheus. Um. Probably just run you up to here for now. Got the grapple to move. No need to ask twice. Okay. We see nothing. Let's move sheep up first. I think sheep's the only one with an SMG. Harder to spot. I saw something, but apparently we weren't supposed to yet. Um, can't be too careful with this. Might be able to see them from here. Double mech captain. Okay then. And I still can't see them properly, so I don't know if this is safe to move up to. Hmm. Morpheus doesn't actually have a way to climb this without two actions. What about from here? Lots of grapple options from here, I imagine. Good copy. Moving on 
target. Oh yeah. This will be fine. A steady weapon. Let's get Rorosaur a bit closer as well. Jakubek here should be safe. Yeah. Uh, that's the mech we can see. I think the officer has longer sight range. We could probably move here safely, but I don't want to risk it needlessly. Heading there now. On overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Affirmative. Covering now. And steady. This would be a pretty good place to fight the, uh, whatchamacallit, Red X. Oh, I don't need to worry about getting a flank shot, because it's going to be just two mechs. Of course, if I skulljack the officer now, we might wake something else up. need a bit more information. I'm pretty sure activating these things will reveal us, so I don't want to do that just yet. Um, let's put Rorosaur nice and close. Chakubek also... Nice and close. Shakaroni? What? Shakaroni? What? Programmer Jet? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I kind of want to see if we can see anything this way. Oh, that's where the base is. Uh, so there's much more likely to be something in that general direction. I think I'll put Jacker back here. Noised. Uh, why don't we get you sitting on the objective so we can grab that anytime we want? Hacking is not your forte. And Morpheus may as well move up and steady. Um, and I might use sheep to peek a bit further over this way. As long as sheep can get back to Skulljack the officer on the same turn. Oh yeah, this crate right here is perfect, That's I think. Primitive. Might get stuck, though. Eyes on the prize. As long as you don't get stuck being able to see enemies further up. Duxel, indeed. Uh, cool. That, that looks really good. Um, the only question now is exactly how to go about it. We might be able to kill the mech archer in one shot. Oh, Morpheus doesn't have steady hands this turn. But if he shoots this turn, he will... Uh, Rorosaur can't actually see the mechs right now. Do I want to Skulljack first? It doesn't matter if the officer runs to cover, but depending on where he runs... I might be in danger of... Oh, I didn't realize that worked that way. Neat. About a million hours of XCOM, and I never saw that. Maybe it's uh, added since Long War of the Chosen or something. I could open with a rocket. The officer does have a lot of health. 
Of course, I would be at least slightly risking... No, that should be fine. A million? A billion? What? Should I rocket the mechs? While they're still right next to each other? It's pretty much my only AoE. I think I will. Do I want to do any reaction fire? I don't think so. The mechs aren't... The mechs can't go to cover. Oh, I will waste some loot. And I do have double shot from Rorosaur with Shred. Okay, I think what I'll do is... This reveals us, right? It doesn't say... Oh, yes, it does. Okay. I think I'll aid protocol myself uh, on Knoised. Since we'll be in low cover. Actually, yeah, negative dodge. Whereas sheep has lots of dodge. Okay. Aid protocol. Reaction fire. Double shot. And we're just gonna skulljack. I think that's probably the way to go. I could, before I skulljack, focus fire. This does end turn, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, yeah, it's got a yellow. We're gonna focus fire this guy to reduce his armor. Not to mention defense. Alright. It's finally on. And... whatever. Oh, they both just went on Overwatch. Oh no. Okay, lucky. We max rolled damage. Now they're gonna split with hardly any health. Morpheus can't see them, unfortunately. Rorosaur can only see one with 37%. Can't see the mechs because the mechs didn't move. Uh, that's actually kind of bad. Jacobet could shoot one of them. I think we're going to have to uh, explode the mechs. Uh, but now we're so close to them. That is super sketchy. We might blow up our own... Shinobi. It's pretty much a given that the Codexes are getting flank shots, but at least they've got red fog. Which apparently is not affecting their aim. What? Well, that's no good. Um... Do I just hope we can kill the archer? With Morpheus? We could probably hit the archer first with Jacobek at least. I can handle that. And if I'd known it was gonna be like this, I definitely would have used um incoming first. Well I don't I guess I didn't have an opportunity to do that, actually. Alright, that's a good start. And we execute mech, and we get to steady weapon. And we're gonna have to weather three shots. Uh, alternatively, I could move Rorosaur. He's gonna be flanked if he goes there. 
He can't get there without triggering reaction fire. This is horrible. The angle of that overwatch. Combined with the codex being over here. They can just teleport and get a flank anyway, but we don't want to encourage them. We, it's not like we can kill the mech this turn. Maybe I should just take a flank shot on... Oh, we're one tile off. We're literally one tile off hitting that codex from here. Can't get cover to do it. I could rocket the codex. It would not be the greatest use of a rocket, but considering the circumstances, maybe it would be. That is a guaranteed kill right there. Still got one reaction shot. I think we're going to do that. Oh, I forgot. We have grapple. Uh, do we... Is that is that cover? I think it's cover. I could grapple up here and kill the codex. I definitely prefer that to using a rocket. 99% will probably hit this. Fantastic. And then we can shred the uh, longbow as well. Alright, that could have been worse. Uh, also, we can mark these supplies. Yeah, even if we max roll, he's still alive. By one hit point, though. And we're going to get double... Oof. Wait, they destroyed the crate as well? That's so rude. Alright, well, we may as well execute this guy with just one action. Um, Codex 46%, 52. We're gonna need to reload. Noised. Uh, and we should probably heal cheap. Lucky Knoise didn't get injured as well. 100% actually. Morpheus, go for it. Fantastic. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. Alright. Um... As far as I'm concerned, our primary objective this mission became beat the Codex. I'm not going to worry too much about... ...about grabbing the loot. I don't want to move up and cause something bad to happen right now. Um, and we should probably have Rorosaur move up. Sure thing. And Jackabek. I want to move up to here for the cover, but if that reveals us, it's going to be a very, very bad move. Seems doable. Got it covered. And they already marked those ones. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get We the did rest. clap the codex very quickly. Always those crits when the enemy is dead either way, <laughs> indeed. There is no overkill. There's only open fire and I need to reload. So unfortunately we don't have a scout anymore. Um and we need to grab Oh, we didn't even get that first one, because the mech destroyed it. That is so rude. 
Let's move up here. Wait, where did you go? Noise. Okay. Let's move up here with Rorosaur. And probably Overwatch. Uh, Morpheus? Longwatch? Yes. Should have done that before. Let's move Jackie back up a little bit. Sheep up here somewhere. Affirmative. Oh, I should have put Rorosol on Overwatch. Come get some. And Knoise needs to reload. I can handle that. Oh god, I'm supposed to get that in one turn now? On deck for recovery. Keep marking those really? Rates, one five. Really, really? All right, Morpheus, Overwatch, Overwatch. and Jackabek. Well, if I run Jackabek up here, I wouldn't get the Overwatch shot because I used even a free action on this. Let's move Noised up problem, here boss. to Overwatch first. Got it covered. And... Does Jacobek at least... No. There's a crate here that hasn't been marked yet. This is a little sketchy, but let's get Rorosaur up here on the side. Scanning. And sheep. The question is, do I run and get this one? I think if I do... I put... Jackabek on reaction fire first. Okay, we've got three, four overwatch shots if we get seen here. Lucky. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Did I, did I not get this one already? Yeah, we've got two so far. We just need two more for the mission itself to count as a success. Um, probably should throw an evac flare, huh? Get an evac in here! This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Right. Morpheus still has steady hands. Fantastic. For a second there, I was thinking the steady weapon was sticking to him, but didn't think it worked that way. We're one tile off grabbing this with a blue move. Um, I kind of want to look over here with Rosal. Alright, cool. Got it covered. And we just need one more for the mission to count as a win. We can blue move to get that next turn. Let's, do this. Let's try this. And Whatever get people say. in position to reaction fire. That looks decent. I'm going. Come get some. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, with any luck, we can just finish this mission without any more fighting. Covering now. I'm ready to overwatch. Do I want to move you up? Probably not. Alright, sheep, grab that if you please. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. And Rorostor, 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 start working your way back. Hello, Morpheus. Get him. Good shot, Rorostor as well. 
Oh, and this is our first miss from Knoised. Three max roll hits in a row. I'm not complaining. Um, question is, do I want to move back? Or do I want to rocket these guys? Uh, reinforcements in one turn. We've already successfully finished the mission. Morpheus has 100% on Gunner. Oh, it's a guaranteed kill. I think we do. And I could either rocket this guy, move up and set him on fire, but then I wouldn't have heavy cover. He might not get set on fire as well. And if I run back, I can probably make him double move and waste his turn. But evac isn't for two, so he'd probably end up getting to shoot at us sooner or later. I've got a lot of shots. Oh, this guy's not quite in range, Jakobek. One tile off being in range. That's unfortunate. How much damage does our rocket launcher do? Uh, four to nine. It's definitely going to remove his cover, though. Alright, I think it's worth trying. I could even give Rorosaur another action. I think. Wow, that was surprisingly inaccurate. Also, mineral damage. Also... Uh... I can... If I move sheep back here... Oh, this is fine. Okay, so we're going to give Rorosaur one more action. And we're going to Precision Shot to increase the crit chance. Oh, nicely done. Fantastic. That's that's exactly what I want to see. We're not going to get that loot. Uh, it looks like Knoised can actually get out next turn already. And Jakobek, same thing. Fantastic. Orpheus, steady weapon. And now we just move back Overwatch. Sure thing. Jacobet can run wherever he likes. Noised. Um, how about back here? Seems doable. Affirmative covering now. And Morpheus. Overwatch. Overwatch. All of the Overwatch. They are way too far to give us trouble. I mean, we're out this turn anyway. I guess the shield bearer makes it a bit of a nuisance, but we're not staying. I'm actually pretty surprised Vorosaur missed. Fantastic, Morpheus. Uh, the mech's not going to get Overwatch, is it? It is. More hostiles inbound. Well, that's not what I wanted to hear. Don't actually have line of sight. I do have grapple, though. We can get line of sight on the mech. question is which way I should go. Probably over... Uh, if I go over here... We're going to be an extra turn away from evac.
You had to drop the one type of enemy that can still give me some trouble here. Actually, I think we could get out and ignore the Overwatch. Never mind. Yeah, this is fine. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop doop Ten four. Roger that. Here I come. See ya. Just ordered donuts? Fair enough. Okay. Codex down, and unfortunately now we can randomly run into codexes all over the place. Plotting to destroy all we have built. To but you gotta do it sometime. Sixteen day wound for sheep. Unfortunate. Commander, please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the sandwich. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. Mostly donuts. Oh no. Forty-seven supplies is not bad considering we only got a few of those crates. Advanced auto load is nice as well. New objectives added. Okay. The aliens are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. Still got four days left on coil gun research. And then we have to change over to alien encryption. And I think we have to wait till that is built, uh, researched, before we can make a shadow chamber. How many wounds have we got now? 19 days, 17 days, 19 hours, 16 days. I think it's probably worth chucking, uh, chucking a scientist in here. Sorry, in the infirmary, but let's get coil guns first. And as soon as we've Command your troops for their resilience nice. in defeating this creature, Commander. The aliens will be left scrambling to recover from this setback. As soon as we've got the supply drop, I think I'll go visit Templar HQ to heal faster. You have destroyed a vessel of the Elder's wisdom. And with it goes your opportunity It's only 19 hours till the supply drop. Now let's go contained. heal. Plotting new course. I think it's like two or three hours every time you travel. Five days, zero hours scientist. Very light. Extract VIP. Uh, is this the escort mission type? Yeah, I think it is. So we could just throw... A low-level shinobi. Wait, what is that? I didn't get a notification for that mission yet. Here it is. Defense supply convoy. That's very unfortunate. Uh, which chosen are we up against here? Is that the hunter? Yeah, Hunter. And we've still got people with fear of Chosen. What? That's not what I want. I want to see who's got the negative traits. If I recall correctly, Shmua is the last person above Lance Corporal with fear of Chosen. So... No need to worry there. We're just going to throw out A-team at this. But our A-team... Well, some of it is infiltrating. Larius in particular. 
Uh, we'll probably take Midden out of training for this. Who do we have in the Haven? Tumbling Satellite. Can't seem to avoid getting pulled into Chosen fights. Also, he doesn't have proper armor right now. Why does he have a shotgun? There is no universe where I would put a shotgun on a technical. Ugh. This is gross. So not only does he have no loadout, but he's also going to be slower than he should be. And not have ranged attacks properly. Okay. Um, regardless, but can I can I get this mission done if I boost it before that mission? Not even close. Do I abandon it? Larius, I am the sky damsel. Zedius, it's mostly Larius that we need from here. If we give this up. Archons have close combat specialist, but as it was, we were putting four people into a destroy relay mission. It was a bit sketchy to begin with. I think we have bought this. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad secure. Lifting off. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Fritz from the Chosen Hunter panic us right before we have to fight him. I thought he already had plus 100 aim. The Warlock did. Take a reaction? Really? Fired upon a visible ally. Once per turn. That is... That is nasty. At least it doesn't return fire if we attack the Chosen herself. Well, this is... We've got a lot of time for these two, but this is terrifying. Um, this is the last person we want attacking the Avenger, because he has infinite squad sight for himself, and he can just delete our most vulnerable, uh, sniper. If you slice the donut in half, what? Counts as a peak. <laughs> Close combat specialist, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're not picking up the supplies just yet. Setting course for West Asia. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, are we gonna want to take anyone who is on Haven Advisor right now? Maybe Zikra? Maybe Ragnar? And maybe all of them, actually. Except for my client. So, pretty much everyone that we can take out of Haven Advisor, we will. This is a quick response mission. There's no infiltration time. Figures this would happen right before we have coil guns as well. Alright, I think we definitely want both of our snipers. Do we though? If we're up against... If we're up against the hunter, snipers aren't actually that good. I mean, Larius is kind of an in-between. If we give our snipers... Um, 
grappling hooks and keep them out of line of sight of the chosen and potentially move him move them into line of sight of the chosen just to finish him off that might be the way to go usually this mission line of sight isn't that good anyway We definitely want a healer or two, even. Knoised. Where, where is Knoised? Fantastic. We'll give you a nano medkit. Better heals and extra charges. The Gremlin Mark II should probably give a bigger heal as well. Gremlin has a single charge. If a medkit equip is equipped, it gains an additional charge. Gremlin heal and Gremlin stabilize. Upgrading your Gremlin will lead to more hit point heal per charge. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, do you have 7 AP? I think it's probably worth three shared AP to give you deep cover, since you're always doing reaction fire. Um, unfortunately, we still don't have... I, I can't believe I'm saying this, we still don't have rapid reaction on either of our ranges, and I keep sending them out to get more XP, and it's just not enough. That is unfortunate. We'll definitely want Rorosaur for this one. Though not in uh, Kevlar armor. And how about a Grenadier or two? Maybe I'll actually put armor on Freeman this time. Uh, incendiary grenades, please. Acid grenade. Do we have a spare gas grenade? I could use Sigma Bean to give him some regular grenades. Why is Sigma Bean holding an assault rifle? Get out of here. Um, we don't have plus hack from the skull jack just yet. And I never did get the red screen round, so that's not an option. I could maybe get Sigma to carry some healing, some extra healing as well. And I think a ranger might be good. Don't we already have one ra uh, not ranger, shinobi. I thought we had one shinobi with... With reaper. It's probably midden. If I take midden out of officer training, we'll have to start it again later, but that's no big deal. Alceres, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Greetings, long mortals. Okay. Uh, midden with Reaper, fantastic. With armor, even more fantastic. And I think I would like you to have a hazard suit as well. Can't have too much health in this fight. Uh, Rorosaur. I guess Larius is our main reaction shot specialist. I am in fact doing well. Just cooked some bacon and breakfast sausage and had a, a bean dip with them. Nice.
And who else should we take? Jacobek, probably. Our other top ranger is out of action, I believe. Yeah, Sloder. Okay. I do have Talon Rounds. I think those might be worth putting on Jacobek instead of Armor Pierce. Plus 10 crit and plus 1 damage on crit. Actually, it might be better to put that on Stardust. Our cool under pressure reaction sniper. Seems good. It's a pity you're the one who has the pistol skills because the plus one damage. Well, we want to hope you don't need the pistol anyway. Uh, what about heals? I forgot about noised. Uh, I th think we're putting noised instead of Jacobek. And then we have no armor pierce, but we do have, um, we do have shred from Brorosaur. Ooh, that is not good. Advanced hair trigger, advanced laser sight, yeah, there we go. And advanced auto loader for you. What's Midden's extra AP like? Infighter would probably be good. I think we can spend 4 AP on that. Try and keep him alive. Oh yeah, and I wanted a... Hazmat suit. Can't believe this is our second one. Alright, so plenty of health on Midden now. Do I... Would I ever want to put Armor Pierce on Larius instead of this grenade? I think so. Or maybe even... Dragon Rounds? Plus one damage and can set enemies on fire. Especially combined with uh, Vanish. It's like plus three damage at least. Okay. Do we have another... Nope. Laser Sten Gun it is. Uh, grenade launcher would be good as well. Fantastic. Is that everything? Should probably have Sigma Bean carry another medkit. We can probably make a, another good medkit. There it is. It's only 10 supplies. Let's go. Alright, I think that's our squad. Good luck. Sky Ranger deployed. I'm a little concerned. I'm going to take a short break before this mission, though. Oh, please don't crash. I should not have alt-tabbed at that moment, I think. I think we're good.
Operation Sinking Whale. Okay, why is it giving us... I'm pretty sure this isn't our first supply convoy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a short break. We'll start this as soon as I get back. We'll throw up some words on stream. Start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. I didn't let you play and not me? What? Cossack. I didn't get to see how long the words were. Anyway. Should find something else for the smaller streams. What are we dealing with here? One turn until enemies show up. Tumbling satellite with no armor or equipment and just a shotgun. This is a disaster. Uh, we're going to put our mech front and center, I think. Hmm. Depending on where the Chosen goes, 
I could go one way or the other and it'll turn out bad either way. Or it could turn out bad either way. First of all, let's get Larius on reaction fire. Watching comes natural. Midden. Probably just run up here. Got it. Rorosaur. Not a problem. Get a good angle and reaction fire. Noised. About the same thing. Everyone's kind of forced to go up this way because of positioning and terrain to get a reaction shot. Right, but at this rate, like enemies are going to spawn here or something and we might not get shots. Tumbling satellite chuckles, I'm in danger indeed. Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I will have Stardust Reaction Fire for one turn. Even though he's standing in the open, he can grapple to one exactly one location that also doesn't have cover. Tumble, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Warcart. Oh, War Cat, welcome also. Alright, I think I'll put our mech... Well, let's see where I want to move the Rebels first. Uh, I want Tumbling Satellite as close, as safe as possible and with as many escape options as possible. He's our only Flamer. Let's put Li Ming Wu over here. Uh, Judy Gray has cool under pressure, but a scatter ray, as in a shotgun. Uh, I'm going. Probably not going to hit with that, but we'll see. Ooh, Fei Sun has open fire, plus 10 aim and crit against something that hasn't uh, taken damage yet. Covering now. Uh, Shinzo has a laser rifle. And pretty bad aim. Igor has a bad gun. Alexei Petrov has a laser rifle and good aim. And the voice of Freeman. Um, and I think that'll do. Okay. Uh, Freeman's Overwatch shot doesn't count for a whole lot. Let's move him up instead. Yeah, I think I get the idea. Don't worry about it. Noised can get two Overwatch shots, but we don't have Ever Vigilant yet. Um, I think we'll just go Sky here. Problem, oh. Morpheus can go this far. And I'm a little torn about what to do with our snipers. I guess I'll forgo a couple of snipes this turn to set up a better long-term stuff. I don't have a... Uh, I mean, not most turns I don't use it, but it's unfortunate that I don't have a steady weapon for Stardust. Oh well. Um, and I guess Morpheus will just go okay, here. Go. And steady. Covering. Where the enemy drops is going to make all the difference here. We got a Grenadier, I think. Two mechs and a Trooper. That's not much. And what about the other end? Wait, are the mechs up where the rookies are? Savor the moment. Pity we don't have any Templars handy. It's looking like your last. Is this our first encounter with him this playthrough? I think so. No! 
Oh my god, thank goodness. That bug where I wasn't able to see the traits on people. Not helpful. We need to get to their location to take them out. Don't make this too easy on me. So we actually got zero reaction shots. Uh wow. This is a different This is very different to any kind of any time I've done this defend supply convoy mission. They're all hidden here somewhere, even though we've seen them. Well, I guess uh, since we all had reaction shots, the troopers technically didn't see them. I could move Larius up with Shadow to scout. We do have Midden. Um, is it wise to sprint all the way up here? Probably not, considering we can't reach cover this way anyway. Yeah, so they're actually inactive. Can't reach anyone with a sword, regardless. I don't think our snipers have angle. Nope. And there's nowhere they can go for a particularly good um, sniping perch. Um, is this actually everything we're up against? Oh. That's a different pod from the one we saw, so yeah, it's it's actually kind of bad. Heavy mech, longbow, sentinel, and snipey snake. Um, and we can't just take our time either, because more more of them are coming. If we show ourselves on this side first. They'll come this general direction, taking cover, and we could snipe them, is what I would say usually, but we've got such bad line of sight from here. I don't suppose... even if we grapple, it looks like... Oh, we can get some shots with grapple, but we wouldn't have cover. Maybe if I move Rorosaur first? Absolutely. It's not like he's going to launch a rocket this turn. Uh, what if we get Morpheus to grapple? You're kidding. I can't get that tile? I can go here or here, but not here. I guess it is grappling to a surface. Uh it's going to be really difficult to do anything good this turn. I can open up with 3 to 6 damage on all of these guys. Shred their armor. I'd have to move like a tile or two closer, but we can do that without getting spotted. After they scatter, we might have some more options. And we can probably, by the look of it, avoid waking up the other pod this turn. Okay, that is probably how we'll start. Now the question is, what if anything we do with people's reaction shots? I think I put Larius here to reaction fire regardless. Then again, I'll probably want him to snipe. He's the only one who can move and snipe. And we're unlikely to get a lot of value out of his reaction fire. The Chosen, I can almost guarantee without even looking, has some BS never get hit by reaction fire ability. Infinite squad sight, low profile, balanced quick draw, 50% less damage from dashing attacks. Go into Overwatch after a standard shot. Immune to Stun, Disorient, Frost. 
40 dodge against attacks within 4 tiles. Pistol attack removes all the ammo from your gun. Plus 15 aim and crit against a flanked target. Attacks mark their target, reducing defense. Plus 2 more damage to units at 50% or less. Critical hits with your primary weapon have a chance to panic the target and nearby enemies. Uh, combat readiness. Gain a stackable 10 aim and 10 defense bonus in cover for the rest of your turn. Gain a movement action or combat readiness after taking damage on XCOM's turn. Alright, that's actually relatively benign for a chosen, believe it or not. Um, I want to put Midden somewhere we can see all these guys, but won't get spotted after they move. And I don't know what those mechs are going to do. Probably want to run Freeman up as close as... oh. Never mind. I don't think I should do any reaction fire before hitting these guys. I should have run my snipers up, but like, I couldn't have predicted this. Let's be honest. I do have quite a bit of range with the Roar Souls rocket now, but we're not using it this turn. Alright. Uh, I guess no reaction shots. Let's open up with the micro-missiles. Hopefully we kill that sneak outright. We're very lucky. Nope. A good start, though. I should have considered moving midden, but I think this might have actually been the safest spot. Alright, so the mech can see all of them, right? Yes, except for the Chosen. Larius can 78% chance kill that mech from there. Oh, Morpheus has an execution and nothing else. I can't imagine a universe where we would not go for that. It doesn't have height advantage, though. So we're not going to get the bonus action. I got it, right? Yes, you did. Good job. Collector plus one intel. Nice. Um, I guess I could go reaction fire again on Stardust. It's probably the best I can do by far. Like, even if I take two turns to do something... I guess I could move down here before trying to snipe this way, but they'll probably just move. Larius can get an angle on that mech. I think we'll probably go for that. And depending on how difficult the shot is, 91%. Maybe I go for Banish here. Pretty decent chance to kill it outright, and it is a heavy mech. Let's see what our other options entail. Probably spitting at it, insulting its mother. 65% chance to, at best, deal 3 damage. Yeah. What's the cooldown on Banish? Um, good question. Good 
Good question. I think it's a while though, like four turns or something. But we'll just have to do it. 91%. Larius, use all of your ammo until that thing is dead or until you have no ammo. Fantastic. So, no mechs, one snipey sneak, two health, three health on the sentinel. Very good. Cumbling can't reach anywhere with the rocket. I didn't expect him to, really. Um, we could take a shot at this guy. 45%. Going on Overwatch isn't going to accomplish much. Oh, lovely. Especially since the Chosen will probably soak it, potentially. What if I put Tumbling where he can't be seen? Potentially get a chance to actually do something, but more importantly, yeah, I think he'd be more safe here where the Chosen can't see him. And nothing can see him for that matter. I could get a flank on this guy with our 70 aim to that location. basic assault rifle. Even if we min roll, as long as we don't graze or miss, he's dead. So it's like a, what, 55% chance, realistically? Nope. Come on, focus. I don't think anyone else can get a flank. I don't want to move up on a like a flanking mission because I don't know where that other pod is. And I don't want to give him extra actions. Um, we could get spotted this way, I guess, but considering where we've already been, I don't think it's likely. A some should probably go somewhere like here. You can do reaction fire in case you see the other pod. And I guess Li Ming Wu do the same thing. If this guy runs, we get a couple of shots at him. And someone's probably going to get sniped by the snipey snake. Rorosaur. Probably move up to this heavy cover. And then Freeman and Noise work your way toward the Chosen, but don't get seen. Oh, hey, this is smart. This is a great idea. Yes. Can't get a shot with Noise, so. So probably just move up more. Out. And we've got Bean. Uh, probably same thing. No need to ask twice. And that just leaves Jun Zhao. Probably Fine. over here. Yet another potential reaction shot on this guy. He should move because he's flanked. You were born for this. Now get out there and fight. Oh yeah, that's fair. Watch this. At least he didn't reveal never mind. Position compromised. Um I think he didn't know what I had up there. Night. Grappled up there and then said nope. Incoming, over here. Well that was an ineffective turn for him. We finally get a reaction shot, and mech is down. Beautiful. Nice. 
That's for us. Yes, it is. They haven't hit us yet. Miss, and no more shots, actually. Mech is going to take some damage. Barely anything. Cool. Um, that couldn't have gone better for us. We do have our work cut out for us, though. Having not been able to work on killing these guys for one turn, and now we've got the reinforcements coming. I've actually got an 88% chance to deal a lot of damage to this... What is it? Heavy Grenadier. Uh, Midden is revealed. May as well use Reaper. This is probably going to be a pretty good Reaper turn if we can deal with the Overwatchers first. I probably... If I'm going to do Reaper, I should probably take the skill... Uh, shadow Step to ignore Reaction Fire, but I think it's Combatives or that, which is why I keep taking this. Oh, Freeman can casually set this guy on fire, I think. Yes. Yes. Do I want to start with the Acid Grenade to seriously shred his armor? He does take damage over time from the Acid Grenade as well, right? I think so. He's got three armor. We're not going to get a much better opportunity to use the Acid Grenade. Beautiful. He's completely shredded. And I forgot Acid Grenades do this. Uh, he has Rupture. Takes additional damage with each hit. That was very much the right decision. Uh, and now we've got these three goons all bunched up together. Rorosaur? If you please. Bakuretsu? Fantastic. Now the, uh, what's it called? Heavy Grenadier is exposed. We could one-shot him with a max roll or a crit on Larius. I don't like those odds that much. Uh, have we dealt with all the Overwatchers? There's one over here we could avoid. Probably. Or we could just dodge slash tank it. We do have, um, infighter. So I think we'd have plus 40 dodge against this at the moment that he has line of sight. Um, who do we have range on? The hunter? He doesn't have, like... He does get, like, half damage from the sword, unfortunately. From the dashing attack. We're not going to start with him, regardless. We need to kill something each time with Reaper to not lose our turn. It is just possible to not kill this guy in one go. I think we might risk it. So we could kill the Heavy Grandeur, the Snake, uh, and the Sentinel, probably. And we can't actually even reach the mech. Morpheus probably, maybe, hopefully, has an angle. Or Stardust. Stardust can almost definitely kill this guy in one hit. The mech is... likely dead. What about Morpheus? Can't see him. Okay. The trouble is, I don't have anyone who can, like give Midden an action if he min-rolls this. We've also got lots of people who can kill this guy, actually. But I'd like to save their shots um, to deal more damage to the Chosen. Let's see, we've got only 86 to hit him. 
63. That's gross. Can Morpheus see that mech? I forgot. He cannot. We almost have to min roll to fail to kill this guy with Morpheus. I think we go for it because we probably get an action back. And then we could hollow target. Uh, we could hollow target to put push this up to 73. That's kind of crap, actually. Not likely to get death from above with Stardust here. It's not that unlikely. Nope. Maybe you should have softened it up with something else first. Like Larius, I guess. Larius could hit the Chosen, should have a much better shot than other people. Um, but where is he going to do it from? And still have heavy cover. And can someone else hit this guy with the Overwatch? That would be safer. Satellite could get a flank shot at him, but he's got a shotgun. Oh, I could use Roust, actually. If I do bring Tumbling into play, we absolutely have to kill these guys, because he's naked. Can Roust hit both of them? That would probably be pretty damn good. Uh, no. No, it cannot. But we can ping this guy and get rid of his overwatch. Oh, and he's burning. That's it, he's dead. Alright, as for Snack, I could execute it with Midden, but then... We wouldn't have anywhere else to go. Maybe that's fine. Probably is. Can Midden be seen by that mech? He cannot. Can we kill that mech? I imagine it would be difficult. I could grenade it. Why not? Frag out. Now it's almost dead. Okay, I'll go. Seventy three per cent. Don't. How about... How about from here? This way. Awesome. 75. One damage. Okay. Uh... Jun Zhao. Finish it off, please. Sixty-five percent. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright, I think with Midden... We will execute Snack. And just the one action. Beautiful. Seventeen damage. Are you sure you killed it hard enough? If I do shoot the Chosen, he's going to move. I'd really like Larius to be behind heavy cover when he hits him. Can the Chosen see Larius from a flank position for here? Potentially. It depends how he moves. If Larius reloads, he can do um, rapid reaction and still have two shots left, even if he shoots at three things next turn. 
Oh, Banish is actually up next turn. That's quicker than I thought it was. I could hit the Chosen with... If I can find an angle. Bruh. Lapinator, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I could ping him with a uh, combat protocol. Oh, I can already see him. And it'd actually deal five damage. That's not that much, but he'll move. Which is the main thing right now. And we'll see where we can put Larius to hit him again. Or maybe we want to keep him there. I don't know. Maybe we want more... More reaction shots against the incoming reinforcements. Speaking of which, let's move some people up. Especially the mech, who we kind of want to draw the fire from the Chosen at least once. What's his... Uh... Oh, Red Fog. Except it's not actually doing anything. Um, I think we'll move our... I was going to say move our scatter ray person up as far as I can, but there's not really anywhere good to go. And it... it oh, clear? come on. Uh... Right, guess we'll put you here. Um, I was going to have him here for an unlikely reaction shot. If I go here, I think that tree will probably prevent this guy from okay. getting flanked by the Chosen. Overwatch. And finally, we're just down at these three. Larius... The, the Chosen can go a long way in one turn and still take an action. If Larius does reaction fire from this spot, he could get flanked, I guess. Maybe I should ping the Chosen just to force him to move. But I want everyone behind my cover if I can. Oh, like this? Okay, can you reach there? No, Larius, no. Okay. I think we're gonna take a regular shot with Sigma. 28%, get out of here. Let's just hit him for five see where he goes. That stings a little. That's about what I was expecting. Um, Larius still can't get an angle. I don't think he's likely to get flanked though. Give me time to reload. And Knoised, I also want you on reaction fire if I can. Oh, we should probably throw an evac in case someone gets seriously hurt. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Though usually with this mission you just have to power through it. Gunner shield bearer and they're in the middle of our overwatches. On the weak side. Not a whole lot of hit points to chew through there, at least. Wow, five damage from Acid Burn. Nice. He's no longer burning from it, though. You know what? That Scatter Ray reaction shot would have hit something, and it would have hit it hard. Uh, the way the... Uh-oh. Rip. Um, we can execute this guy. I'd rather get Larius to flap the Chosen. Oh, we can get a flank on him. From heavy cover, with max ammo, with banish. Yes, please. Also, while he's still, um, oh, come on. 
It would be good if the UI would actually tell me that that could happen. He was running with low cover here, so it wasn't that likely to hit, but still. 100%? Yes, please. Should I... Is there a universe where I should... Hollow target him first? Because each... Uh, each subsequent shot with this... I can't see him, though. Through that tree. Or this thing, I guess. Yeah, each subsequent shot is going to be more poorly aimed. But if we're starting at 100... We're actually starting at 101, 108, 113%. Uh, he will likely get some grazes, but I think because he's uh, ruptured, it won't matter as much. So let's try banishing the Chosen. Larius, if you please. Good start. I bet you can't do that again. And then nine more, okay. Yes, now he's burning, even if he's still alive. Most of my never get a oh, that was beautiful. Back. Larius, you absolute beast. Alright, the rest of this mission is going to be a lot easier. Showed the chosen that the resistance is here to stay, Commander. Now we just have to find that thing and put it down for good. I could get tumbling to burn this guy. That's probably a good idea. He would be in slight danger of getting set on fire by the weird fire mechanics. Um, but we could just heal him remotely. He can also see this guy, which makes me a bit scared, but we'll deal with him. All right. Shield bearer. Get out of here. And he's panicked as if that made a difference. Uh, we do have 5 to 8 plus 3 with our scatter ray here. Who should I go for though? Let's see what our snipers can see. We got 100% on this guy and nothing else. Me as well. Good job, Stardust. Are you sure you killed him hard enough? Locked and loaded. Affirmative, covering now. And Morpheus? Doesn't have an angle. Um probably had angle to the same guy. I probably should have done that the other way around. Because Stardust is better at reaction fire, but there's not gonna be any enemies on the board next turn, I'm pretty sure. In fact, where's Midden? Uh, can I just click on... No. Where is Midden? Where did I put him? Oh yeah, right here. So we can actually almost guarantee a kill on him. We can guarantee a kill on him. Let's do that. Reaper? Slicey dice number one. Fantastic. And now we should have a decent chance to kill this guy outright. And even if we failed, and even if there was no one else left to... Is that the only place I can reach? Even if there wasn't 600 people to help kill him, the uh, Blade Master would probably finish him off. Let's get that guy... Maybe with... Sigma Bean? Why not? What's over there? Hundred percent. Since when is your aim this good? Sigma Bean has execution. Or I forgot about that. All right, do it. You happy now? And that's everything. Unfortunately, there's another wave, at least, of enemies. Um, okay. By far a more scary one. Sort of. But we don't have to deal with the Chosen while we deal with them. So that's good. good to go. And let's move everyone up. 
I want a good spread before those enemies arrive. Probably here. you up a bit further. Roger that. I hope it's worth it. Coming. All right, that's the turn. Their friends come to help. And here comes I think the last wave. Let's get Larius on a reaction right, fire begins. and everyone else for that matter. I definitely want Sigma somewhere where he's likely to be able to hack anything. Is it clear? Affirmative, covering now. Midden's reaction shot doesn't matter that much. Flesh does though. On the move. Overwatch. Okay, is in a good spot, I think. Got it covered. Freeman, kind of similar to S Sigma I or go this way. Midden. I'm ready. I'm Morpheus, ready. I guess you're not going to be able to steady weapon. Let's go for the reaction I'm shot. I'm on it. And let's get our mech over here. Tumbling, I would like you to stay safe. Um, you should have options no matter what in here. And then... Probably right here is fine. Let's bring everyone together. Oh, I should have reloaded this guy. This will do. Alright. Unless they drop somewhere, like, really weird and far away. We should get a decent overwatch on this. Oh, goodness. Four mutons? You missed? Well, we just got zero instead of three reaction shots from Larius. And we have how many? Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. So the only ki thing we killed there was the sectoid? Oh, never mind. Shot wide. How did you even have angle there? Have well, there's the exact thing I had in mind when I thought we wouldn't need an acid grenade. They're shifting the flag. And our snipers are surrounded by these things. Lovely. That's a lot of mutons. Yeah, four in a pod. Not cool. I knew these reinforcements would be bad, even though I'd taken over the entire map before they came in, but... Jesus. Okay. What are we gonna do about this? Uh, we can't hack anything until we kill this once. So that's cool. I could actually grapple Morpheus. And if I can get a kill shot with hide advantage, um, we could then move him away. 
but not if it's at the same elevation, like with this sectoid. Stardust is just not going to be able to stay here. Unless we literally kill everything, which isn't happening. I mean, I don't see how it's going to happen. Rorosaur uh, is in a pretty good spot, honestly, but... Oh, we've already used the rocket, I forgot. So I could 80% this guy twice. Um, I could move up and flame both of these mutons if I had more movement. I might be able to flame both of them from there. What's over here? A sectoid. Larius has Banish, at least. And because he didn't hit anything, we've got four shots with it. Yay! How much damage is this? Five to nine plus five. Could potentially kill the sectoid. If I'd taken cheap shot, we could probably take advantage of it. Uh, Midden doesn't have Reaper, but... Well, we can't kill the Muton this way. He'll counterattack. Oh, I thought he'd have range on the Sectoid. Not even close. I could run Midden right up next to one of these guys to tank his melee attack. If we end up in that kind of situation. Uh, I really wish I had still... Well, no, I... I don't wish I still had that as a grenade. It was well worth it to kill the Chosen. But still. If I grapple to here, I should be able to execute Muton. But for some reason I can't grapple here in particular. Hmm. Tumbles has rocket, but no angle. If he moves and shoots rocket, it's going to be even more inaccurate than if he didn't move first. I could move Tumbles on a flanking mission. It sounds very... How can you see me here, but not here? Uh, that sounds very, very risky for him, to say the least. This is the part where, uh, if we had I Am The Sky with like one more rank, or is it two more ranks, being able to shoot instead of slice would actually be pretty good. I could command Rorosaur. Do we have line of sight to that spot from here? No, but I don't think that really matters actually. Okay. I think we're going to try to set all of these guys on fire. On my way. And we're just barely not able to do both. Hmm. 98% on this guy at least. Who are we going to cook with Freeman? I could gas grenade these two, and it would probably kill... I actually can't? Yeah, I can. I could almost get those three, but not quite. If I gas grenade these two, I think this guy's just dead. Uh, this guy is not very well controlled, but he is somewhat controlled. And I believe I put a hazmat suit on Midden. Uh, so he should be immune to poison. Although I can't seem to see the stats here. I'm pretty sure I did. Just based on how many hit points he has. 14 plus 1 mobility. Now I'm not so sure. 
Uh, we've only got teamwork level 1. So we can't gain an action that way. I wouldn't want to waste one of Larius's actions regardless. Hmm. Where would I go? We do have a scatter ray here. That's not nothing. If I assume I'm going to control these two... I could put this guy here with the scattery. If I'm gonna lose someone, I'd rather lose a rebel instead. And I want to move Freeman back to this heavy cover right here. Probably move him back here, actually. Oh, just barely. Then we're all in agreement. All right, gas grenade. These two. Explosives keep my options open in a way nothing else can. Nice. I think the crit means that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we crit, the poison is going to do more damage as well. It was already going to do two instead of one. So that's like three damage twice, I think. So this guy's down to three, kind of. Um, I'll probably use Midden to command Rorosaur. Okay, that's a good start. Yeah, Midden does have invulnerability to poison. That means if we can kill this guy with someone else, Midden can go up here and tank his melee attack. What's over there? Judy Gray, if you please. Fantastic. Midden, would you kindly run directly into Muton's face, but not sword attack. I should just consider where these guys could go, but I think this is fine. And he should be as good as dead next turn. Larius can get a flank shot on this sectoid and not be visible to anything else. It's probably the way to go. We're just going to have to put off dealing with most of this for one turn. How far can that guy move on a blue move? Not past this tree. Okay. Probably don't want to use Banish here. 6 to 10. Unless we crit. I'm just going to roll the dice. Fantastic. And then... Sigma Bean could actually execute this guy. Maybe even... with a gun, as opposed to wasting our last combat protocol. 91%. I think we should probably risk that. Nice. That leaves two Sectoids and the Andromedon. Oh. How much damage do we have? 6 to 11. I don't think I could have given Morpheus. Oh, I could have executed this thing with Morpheus and saved an action for Rorosaur. Wait, no. I did that with, uh, with this guy anyway. I think we're just going to have to run with our snipers. Unfortunate. I'd like to put them where they can grapple and do something useful next turn, more than likely. And Stardust, I pretty much just want to keep you alive. 
If I go here, you might be able to grapple to this spot, but if the Andromedon chases, I really want you in heavy cover. Or even just hide down here. Where can he move to? I'm pretty sure there's literally no way he can get angle if you hide here. Let's do this. And then you could grapple back up to shoot him next turn. On Overwatch. Okay. Tumbling. Above all, I want you to stay out of sight, but potentially be ready to rocket something next turn. Merci, je bouge. And that just leaves... Knoised and Rebels. Unfortunately, Knoid's movement kind of sucks. Um, is there anyone who's definitely going to take an attack? Okay, who's this guy going to attack? You can't see our snipers. Uh, Larius? If he comes down this way? But I think Sigma Bean... Oh, Sigma Bean killed something. I was going to say Sigma Bean might be in a better spot to aid Protocol. Uh, you're behind heavy cover already. Oh, I get um, deep cover if I don't attack. So yeah, I think we'll aid Protocol Larius to try and be safe. And between... Deep cover, and also uh, covering fire. Should be a really small chance that this guy comes and shoots you. Um, and we need to run some of our mooks up. It would be preferable if someone like Igor was the one who had the mind spin pointed at him. Let's get our mech up here as well. And these guys are just too far. Quiet, tell me what to, do. to do anything, really. Ready to go. Tired of waiting around. I don't. This guy has an, a grenade of some kind. I think it's an acid grenade. I don't know how far he can throw it. I don't want people too close together. Alright, that's the turn. Maintaining position. Oh, it did only do two poison damage. Damn. Blade Storm, though? As expected. Good thing we aid Protocol Glarius. Mind spin? Panicked is fine. Another one. No, he's just gonna ping the mech. Alright. Larius does have Banished, but he's only got three shots, uh, and can only pierce two of this ridiculous amount of armor. He could slink away with Shadow, but we've got other people in danger as well. Can't actually get an angle on this guy. I can get an angle on Sectoid. And Stardust might be a bit vulnerable after that, but it might still be the best way to go. We're never ever getting an angle on the Centurion with our mech. I can flank this Sectoid though. 79%. Okay, that was better than expected, and now Sigma's not panicked. 
very cool. Um, do we slicey dice with midden? We can't reach. Midden, no. Okay, I could slicey dice sectoid. Um, uh, seems good except that we'd only have light cover if the big guy comes back up. Um, but I want to consider using a command. How much damage do we have? Five to nine. So three to seven times up to three. I can't kill him. Even if we give a command to reload. What we'd have to like move... Move, reload, banish. Up to five shots. Let's say they all hit. Um, can we shred first? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Where's Midden? Over here? We're not going to get focus fire on him either. But I could command Larius. Hmm. Freeman could shred if he could get close enough. How far do his grenades reach? Okay. So if I dash up, maybe here. It's still questionable whether I could reach here with a grenade. If I used a command, that is. Oh wait, I've got, um... Rorosaur. Who I can't click on. If Rorosaur goes here, he can give a movement-only action to Larius. Which means we don't have to use a command for the same effect. So Larius would go here. Remember that spot? Right behind this heavy cover. I'm with you. I guess I could have reloaded. I, I could reload first. But this works as well. Either way. Okay, so we're going to use Banish. Oh no. Oh no. The armor pierce is only through cover. Oh no. I was going to say, I'm going to see if I can find a way to shred regardless first, but damn. Can you see Freeman? I may as well try. Can. Do I want to do anything else first? Maybe give a few people explosion resistance, but I don't think he's going to attack anyone over here in particular. I think he's going to go for Larius. Well, we're killing him this turn or next turn regardless. Um, the only question is, am I okay with using Stardust to kill Sectoid. What if this guy moves and then decides Stardust is a juicier target? Well, he can't do that if we kill him first. Or massively reduce his hit points. Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh. Uh, I don't know exactly where I can move Freeman to. I think this was the limit, right? For him to still have an action? Uh, I hope so. Focus. Yes. 
Okay. And we can grenade him. Sigma Bean, if you please. Airdrop on the Freeman. If we can find him. There we go. And then regular grenade for the shred, and so that we can reach just barely. Good thing we've got tandem rockets, or tandem, what is it called? Tandem warheads. Doesn't matter where the grenade touches, it's I full damage. It's the only way to prove I'm not crazy. I think it's only going to shred one, though. Yeah. Not a whole lot. I think it's still worth using banish, though. There's no way we're going to shred any more than this. Good start. Okay. Miss. Two damage. We got him! Larius, you absolute legend. Again. Uh, and we could try hacking this thing. Shut down 65%. How far can it move? Not that far. I think we're okay now to grapple up here to kill the sectoid. Grapple up. 100%. And that's enough damage. Alright, there's one enemy left on the map. Uh, the question is... I, I know I can't kill him. And I don't think I can even hit him. Except maybe... with a reaction shot. It's worth a try. I'll take the high road. Locked and loaded. Come get some. Um, I think with Bean, I definitely want to aid Protocol Larius. Because that, that's who this guy's coming for. I could try hacking him. What's the penalty if I fail? Supercharge gives what? Aim as well as defense. I don't want to give him aim if I fail this. But maybe it's safer to attempt a 67% than to give him a turn. Try not to break this one. Um, or I could just put more Overwatch covering that area. That might be the way to go. Seems doable. Come get some. Oh, no. I thought we had shot for a second there. On the move. Double time. I don't think most of these people are going to do anything. Oh, good. No, that's not good, actually. This is good. Starting with you. Because you get a bonus aim if they're full health. Fantastic. Good job, Morpheus. And noised. And everyone, for that matter. Um, we only lost a single rebel to a snipe. That could scarcely have gone better. Realistically, it couldn't have gone better. Uh, maybe we need to start selling calendars. Fantastic. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. 
And we get five ability points for that as well. Chosen are incredibly and a promotion for Bean and Morpheus. Today, nice. Still have much to learn. If Looks like he gained a hit point. Let's start with Morpheus. Uh, this is a tough choice, honestly. Well, Morpheus can't crit on reaction fire, so aggression isn't as good on him. He's also got incredibly good aim. I'm thinking Deadeye. Negative 15 aim for 50% more damage, and quite often that just turns 100% into 100%. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And we're getting close to the really good skills. Well, I mean, this is just more damage, actually. He's kind of already fleshed out as a... Uh, as a sniper. With that very low combat intelligence, I don't think we're ever getting lethal on him, though. Two more damage. We'll already have plus four damage, plus two on crits. We don't get the plus one over damn good ground. Aim is more important. Well, then again, two more damage on every snipe. Uh, it might just... Um, the thing is, we're going to have to spend like 25 to 30 AP to get that. But who knows. That's like a whole uh, special, uh, special ops mission. Ooh, failsafe. Sigma Bean can now attempt to hack with no penalty. Except, of course, for, you know, wasting an action. Very cool. We've got 15 AP and nothing that we're looking to spend it on? Uh, maybe I will go the Lightning Hands on him. What's his mobility? 14 if he's carrying two things. That's actually fine. Except we're going to want him to carry the Skulljack for, for the hack bonus. Yeah, maybe we'll just not worry about that. I don't know what to spend his points on, though. Um, if not... We're not spending 40 points for rapid fire on an SMG with no bonus damage. We've got 15... What's it like? Gonna be like, uh... Like 25 AP that we'll have when he's max level, if we wait. I could put a Vasum on him just so he doesn't die. Alright, uh, Tumbling Satellite leveled up as well. Now we have Phosphorus. Ignore fire immunities and shred armor with the flamethrower. Very cool. He's also got very high combat intelligence and the ability to get light him up. Not bad. Okay, and get that shotgun out of here. Good grief. Alright, let's put people back into Havens. Um, look at all these tech sergeants. We really need a handful more. Well, we need three uh, staff sergeants. About Freeman. Um, you Indonesia can have Spare Grenadier, how about Damsel? And then New Australia? 
Let's put one of our psyops in there. I wonder if the psyops are better at detecting faceless. They should be. Can we afford this? Shred arounds. Those would have been amazing on uh, Larius. It would have been almost a given that he'd kill that uh, Andromedon in one go. We're just about to pick up our loot, actually. We've got way more uh, supplies than we think. But what about the cost of Illyrium cores? Red screen rounds is just a drone wreck. Oh, it is a core. Never mind. Yeah, pretty much everything here costs an Illyrium core, and we've got like two. We've literally got two. I'm gonna have to put it off. Alright. Who is healing? 18 days, 16 days. Sloda and Yatu. I can't believe I'm still... We still don't have coil guns. It's been a long 20 days or whatever. Yep, let's grab that supply drop. Where even is it? Avenger plotting new course. And unfortunately, Advent's gonna get their close combat specialist Archons. What's this? A faceless? Cool, cool, cool. Um, one day, one hour. Can I grab my supplies first? Seems good. Who have we got here? Uh oh. I didn't check. I thought I had a, an opportunity to look. Oh, I think it was Damsel. Wait, she did have the fire grenades, right? I noticed she didn't have armor. Just don't tell me she's completely unequipped. No, I see armor. That's not damsel, I don't think. That is Freeman. Freeman is decked out. Don't Except move. for the grenade launcher, I guess. Uh, we got acid, we got fire, we got gas. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be too difficult, but let's... Uh... Let's not get cocky. On the move. Everyone's pretty slow despite the SMG. Everyone's got uh, heavier weapons here except for one. Only one SMG on the rebels. Hmm. Oh, there's the road. Let's maybe start Moving out. with this. And... Can I see cover here? There it is. Affirmative. This. Alright, looks like we can go as far as we can go. With no risk of getting caught. Where are we going? Probably this should be safe. Fantastic. Um, I think we can probably go up here. I wonder if the base is actually over this way. 
Double time. Nee, 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 nee. Moving out. Oh. There they are. I have eyes on the enemy. Well, that's very unusual. Normally they would be patrolling a road. Understood. Moving out. Can we get eyes on them? Potentially? Yes. Alright, at least we know where they are. What are we up against? We've got a priest. Ad we've got an advanced priest. Stun Lancer, and I didn't see the other one. Position confirmed. Oh, there's four of them. They're all bunched up. Double Trooper, Stun Lancer, Priest. Okay. I think it would be best to ambush this lot as opposed to the Faceless. Yeah, I guess this way. The only thing is, I don't see an advanced grenade launcher. How much range do we have? Still a decent amount of range. I think we'll wait here. And move people closer as much as we can. On Overwatch. How far can they move? Not that far. Moving to designated coordinates. On Overwatch. And oh boy. Oh, there's the actual road. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should always remember it's got the the higher tech stuff. I'm all Let's over. head over here. Alright, if we're very lucky, we'll be able to burn them all in one attack. And then it's just the other pod. Oh. Well, not this turn. Not unless we just want to gas them. I want to get people more in position anyway. Can we get a peek at where the rest of them are? Moving to designated position. Oh, we did. We haven't officially seen them, but we do in fact know where they are. Very good. Heading to that location. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's make sure they can't expose us this turn. And be careful, nevertheless. I wish I could get this scatter ray closer. Maybe I can. If we go up here and then... Nope, never mind. Probably just head over this way. If we're a hundred percent sure we're not getting a reaction shot this time. No, I don't want to risk being able to see these guys. Eyes on the prize. Wish I had a way into oh I do. Into this building. That might be better. Good to go. And hopefully they'll bunch up this turn. Hmm, not as much as I wanted. This is explosive, this thing over here, but still. We do have unlimited time. I could set everyone 
probably on fire except for the priest this turn, but there's absolutely no incentive to rush. I'm watching. I'm always watching. Orders confirmed. On the move. Oh, we could just shoot that to hit two of them. Eyes on the prize. Probably don't want to get that close with our scatter ray. Roger. Right now. I got my eyes on. Um, despite what the animation is doing, the gate is in fact open. And let's move our Sten gun. If I go there, I bet I can see... Actually, I probably should find out what they've got. Oh no. You are kidding me. How is that allowed to be on one of these missions? A Spectra on this mission? Okay, I have to save a flame grenade for them, that's for sure. That's disgusting. Good copy, moving on target. We need to keep our distance from it. If it can blue move to one of our people, the mission's over. 100%. I think I'd like to ambush them over here where we can control line of sight a bit better. To the other pod. I did see them here earlier, right? They should eventually patrol to that point. That should be fine. Um, and how about oh, hey, over this here? Is smart. This is a great idea. All right, now we wait. Let's go slow mo two. Should I move Freeman up? Probably. Well, wait a minute. No one hides from me. Maybe move these guys a bit further to the left, even. Might get caught over there. Affirmative. Covering now. Yeah, I think this is about as I'm good as it gets. Scanning. Scanning. Coming back around. Come on. Yes. Yes. No. No. Uh, why are you? Why are you like this? Hmm. I think we wait. Even if we get reaction shots instead. Oh, we do. They've got our position. Surprisingly. Decent start. Surprisingly good start. Alright, two down. You can't Trooper and Stun Lancer remain. Can we? Thank you very much for the resub. Much been appreciated. Zero, guy, been wo zero, oh zero. Indeed. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think I'm going to gas these two. Just so I can hit them both with one grenade. 
and remove their overwatches and probably outright kill them, albeit not in one turn. If I gas grenade on top of the priest, he's basically dead, right? Like, he comes out of stasis and immediately gets poisoned, I think. As opposed to having to rely on overwatch shots to kill him. We should definitely throw an evac. Need an evac! This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. I could flashbang them. I think I want to save the flashbangs for the Spectre. This is the one time I put armor on Freeman instead of an extra grenade. Uh, okay. Gas grenade it is. I don't think we could... potentially hit all of them. No. Alright, let's start with this. Here, let's do this right. Oh wow. Oh wow, they're just dead. Um That'll do, Freeman. That'll do. And everyone else reaction fire. Do I want to move closer to this guy? I don't really think we need to. Uh, I kind of want the scatter ray closer. Especially to this terrain. For when the others come in. I may as well reduce the chance of him getting away as much as possible. Come get some. Let's move already. On Overwatch. Fantastic. That'll do. Big deal. Now we need to camp. I will grab this loot. This looks like the stuff. Um, but other than that... So over here we've got uh, a faceless or two, a spectra, and the rest is troopers or something. Nothing that scary. I don't even remember what else there is here because... The Spectra is the entire threat. But suffice to say, I want... I want Freeman to be able to get in range once we see him. And I want to... make sure... that he's not gonna, like, see us at long range, if at all possible. Either we see him at close range and clap him, or we see him at long range and we can start trying to run. That doesn't sound good, actually. Tired of waiting around. Yeah, let's move everyone back here. Covering now. Uh, I'm going. Good to go. Finally. So they'll definitely have heard the grenade. They will be coming sooner or later. Sort of. Scanning. Can I get you up here? That's with the Sten gun. Let's do this. Let's get our other scattery. Oh. Actually, there's a small chance of being there. spotted. Oh, I didn't reload. Whoops. Okay. 
Reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Fantastic. I'm watching. I'm always watching. Are they really not moving yet? They must be moving. There's no way they didn't start running around after hearing those grenades. Or that grenade. Do we hear them? No? Are they running in the entire wrong direction? Have a nice day looking looking in tomorrow. Alright, take care, Kevin. Thanks for hanging out. I really don't want to have to start looking around for them. I don't understand how they haven't found us yet. I swear to god, if they haven't moved yet... Ragamuffin? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What if they are still here? What's my best move? That's really hard to say. Who's got the worst aim or whatever? This guy with the SMG, 16 mobility. I can try and bait them in this general direction. Here I come. I'm I'm always if I run over here and they react and I run back here, they shouldn't be able to see me. They're not there. They might be like here. I think they were, actually. Affirmative. Covering Covering out. Out. Oh. I know where they are. They are running around looking for us. I think that's them there, where we can't move. Can I move back without them seeing? Yes. So they might be coming around this way. But I can't really keep an eye on them. If I move someone over here, they might hear them coming first. Unfortunately, there's a log that's kind of in the way. Copy that. I'm ready. Sort of. Can I lead them in the wrong direction? Really. Uh, let's move our scatter guns up here. Got it covered. What's over there? And laser rifle this let's way. Move already. On Alright, maybe I should just start doing things finally. like this. Oh, no, finally. I'll try and 
try and find them with a blue move. And retreat back each time. Actually, if I stay here at Overwatch, if they like find us and then start chasing this way, I can maybe take advantage of that. I need to make sure I have an angle to retreat if I do find them. Finally. Okay. Rocketeer Trooper and... Where, where's the Faceless? Wait. Is the Faceless still... Why are you getting a free action? <sighs> How have we not found the Faceless if... This is very weird. Maybe this guy is supposed to be the faceless or something. Since he, he's like a shapeshifter. Can I get the Freeman close going? enough to burn him this turn? Oh, I can. A handful of shrapnel makes the medicine go down! He's not burning though, not yet. He is half dead, however. Right, we're gonna have to just... Oh good, we can slip out without triggering the reaction fire here. Let's get you out of the picture. At least for now. And put everyone else... I don't think this guy can get to us for melee range. So just sitting here should be fine. I think I heard him go left. Oh, I hear Faceless. We also have to worry about a Rocketeer. Let's put Freeman here and see ah. if we can see something. Hmm. What if I move our laser rifle up this way and then back? Or I could do the same with like the scatter ray. I don't know how close those faceless are though. I. I don't know how I didn't see them. Maybe it's like a visual glitch. There's something here, actually. If there's like an invisible faceless here, I'm going to be very annoyed. Uh, that is exactly what's here. That's a faceless. And I don't know where that dem... Uh... Well, I'm not using my second fire grenade on it. Could go for the acid grenade. I need to see the damn thing. If I go close enough to use the... I hate this. It's got 10 health. Theoretically, we could kill it in one, but that's not going to happen. If I move my guys in a formation to deal with this faceless right now, uh, I would not be shocked in the slightest if... If the Spectra is then in range to move in and do the BS melee thing that insta-kills. Well, it's worse than an insta-kill. It doesn't technically kill, but it 
puts someone unconscious and makes a clone of them. Let's see if we can get some line of sight come. this way. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's do this. Still can't see the bloody thing. Let's do a save and reload. My decision making definitely would have been a bit different if I could have actually seen the faceless. Just a, just a slight change. I, you're, you're kidding. He's still invisible. Now we can see him. Okay. All right. I don't know if there's two faceless. And I'm fully expecting a Spectra to come around the corner and clap someone. Uh, I'm going! Come get some! I'm ready! I'm ready! Overwatch! Okay, that was his first move, I believe. Ah! Oh, that's fair. Oh good, the one unit I was holding on to to deal with this guy. Hit through heavy cover like it's nothing. That wasn't even a bad dice roll, it's just guaranteed to hit. What does Berserk actually mean? I can't even find out. Alright, we've got 5 to 8 plus 3 with the scatter ray. I should probably grenade him first. Finally. Throwing grenade. Two damage, really? We've dropped a fire grenade right on this guy's head. He didn't get set on fire. Grenade in his face, two damage. At least we didn't mineral that. Um, can I get a flank? I don't think so. I could get a flank without a shot. It'll force him to move. But we're not going to have heavy cover, and this guy has two hit points. But maybe that's better than... Than leaving the Rocketeer to do as he likes. I do have smoke. That's not going to do anything. I do have a flashbang on this one. I think we'll probably go for that. Oh, we can we can even flashbang the both of them. Yeah, I don't even have to move this guy. He's in light cover though. But if I move him to heavy cover, we might not be able to toss the grenade. He's got seven hit points. I think this is too important. What if we flashbang and flank them? Uh, I think we'll go here. We're actually on a flanking mission, but we're hidden. And we're behind heavy cover. And they're disoriented. And they flank themselves to the other threat as well.
Alright. Berserk removed. Hooray. Let's get our scattery over here, I guess. Or or what? If you're going to be behind light cover, I'd rather you didn't have line of sight to that guy. Nice. Happy now? And we can... Unfortunately, not flank him here. Without being exposed. Can Freeman... Burn him? Oh yeah. Let's move our scattery up. I might even just grenade him. With both of them. This can't kill him, so we won't lose loot. And why don't you have enough movement? Really? Okay. I'm gonna have to try something like this. Okay. All right, we got him. I have to blow everything up. It's the only way to prove I'm not crazy. And we got another wound that absolutely shouldn't have had to happen. Hello. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. At least it'll only be like a week. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. United in the Elder's love for... Five days? It's better than expected. He needs the rest anyway. Another depth perception. A, a core, that's good. Um, the rest is pretty mediocre. We get some corpses, that's nice, including a stun lancer. And that might be our first spectre corpse. Nice. Okay, where are we up to? 31 hours until behind enemy lines and coil guns. We're going to finish at about the same time. Um, I was trying to do heal faster before this happened, right? I think so. We may as well. We're already there, basically. Um, does it... Do I have no Haven Advisor here? Yeah. Jacobek's back. Nice. How about... Knoised. We got a mission. Seven days, ten hours, rescue. Uh, is that four rookie? Five? Six? Are you kidding me? Six rookies? Or did I misread it? One, two, three, four, five, six, six rookies. That's kind of a lot. Undying loyalty is not that bad, actually. Large map could be a little bit of a problem. Um, but yeah, I think we should gear that up. Where, where is it? for sector five India if we don't get a couple of good psyops out of that I would be shocked who's available Larius why not uh 
Um, we're gonna need a hacker. Sigma bean. I don't think a slow shooty technical is the way to go on this kind of mission. Should I also take a shinobi? I should if I'm trying to get midden to master sergeant. Oh, he's not even gunnery sergeant. Oh, there's another whole rank between masters before master sergeant. Good grief. We're actually way further away from killing any chosen than I thought. Uh, whirlwind would be really, really nice to get though. Let's try and get midden leveled up. And how about Setius? Uh, I don't think we can take six and still have extremely light. Five should be enough. Don't think we need a medkit for this one though. How about a ragamuffin? Uh, well, you're kind of late to the party, it's kind of hard to level you up, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, depth perception, we've got plenty of those to go around though. That aim though, 82 on a squatty, that's great, uh, but it takes forever to level up. I should put you in Haven Advisor. Um, do I not have a stock? I do. And maybe... It's probably enough, actually. I'll put you in his haven. Alright, I think we are ready to go. Yeah, we're, we're kind of past the point where we keep seeing what I refer to as training missions. But the, uh, the missions like the one we just did, usually, I would say, you tend to be able to do with low-level low people and bad equipment, but... Um, that's the first time I've seen a bloody spectre. Avenger oh no. Oh no, wait, that's what I wanted to do. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's heal. We knew that was coming. The aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. Uh, we got a new assault. Really? A lot is happening in a short time this stream. Uh, do we have any more rookies to train? We do not. Our new assault is... Uh, up here, actually. Pretty bad. Bog standard stats. What do you got for extra abilities? Single action arc thrower? That could be good, I guess. Heal friendly mechanical units. Situational, but potentially very good. Locked on doesn't really work unless we get you to hit and run and rapid fire. Uh, in which case it could be very, very good. Overkill could be good, I guess. Shadow Step. Really, really good. On a run and gunner. That could be amazing. Uh, but I think it's too late to level up squaddies. If I'm totally honest. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. 
Our people managed to find another bit of information on these. That is one thing I forgot about. A reason to run these missions early. If you got something new for us, Commander, my Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. Gain influence with that faction. The resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. All right, what do we got? Another intense training. Aim plus four. That's pretty damn good. Got to make sure we get that. Corpses, rebels, engineers, scientists. Scientist would be a big help. So we got two missions we really don't want to miss this month. Uh, gain ability points. I I always want it, but it's always there. Now we get the gain resistance contact. Uh, last month this would have been great, but we've got plenty of supplies now. Intel, mech, okay. So we want mech, we want contact, we want scientist, we want intense training. So ambush chance up to... You can't get ambushed doing the intense training, apparently. I could get Stardust up to 89. Uh, considering his spec, that could be really good. Rorosaur as well. I could improve Glacier's aim, but we've already specced him for that not to really matter. I am the Sky? That might actually be really good. Might be very good. Uh, but for now, I think we'll take one of the other missions while the ambush chance is relatively low. It's our most important one. Probably gain a contact and then scientist. Do we also have Larius? No. Who else do I want to take? I am the Sky, maybe? Knoised. Let's get Knoised some XP. 20% failure. As opposed to... 9%. I think I'll take it. I think that's probably worth. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Okay. We have one mission infiltrating. I have made a we finally, of finally have coil guns. Commander. I think these shred as well as just dealing more damage and stuff. House pistol. These weapons look really cool as well. Uh, inspired to do battle armor, you say? Is battle armor a prereq for the higher tier version of itself? Laozi Dong, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We have already researched spectres. Huh. Okay. Oh no, here it is, Spectre Autopsy. I didn't think we'd have the option to render it if we hadn't done the autopsy yet. The only thing that concerns me about this is the cost of one Illyrium Core. Also, I would actually have to have, like, Rorosaur more vulnerable to use this because the defense isn't as good. And the only thing we're missing out on here is researching it faster. I think it's actually more important to do the alien encryption anyway. We might end up using power armor. 
I mean, I hope we will. Let's do alien encryption. And then we already got this done. Okay. All right. Uh, just a few more to go into the infirmary to remove the, the negative traits. How's our healing? 12 days, 10 days, 3 days. And 10 days. Okay. Shmoa is good to go now. Still got at least four more, but they're all low rank. Uh, Kali, Patel, Specialist. Where's Patel? We're not really going to be using them. I think the top priority is our, uh, our spy. Yep, there we go. And there's probably someone infiltrating who still has that negative trait that I don't know about now. Okay. We heal, we get target acquired, sabotage transmitter, prevent a resistance data leak, and we can't do it, we've got one day left. Uh, I think that means we're about to have a nasty mission. I don't think we can remove my clap. oh we can. These missions are really, really bad, to the point where I'm seriously considering just letting it go. I'd be worried about losing a soldier if I let it go, but if I can remove the Haven Advisor first... Then we'll just take that hit. I think it just prevents us from getting much intel for a I while from that trash. region anyway. I've always found those extra to be oh, another down. one. Who do we have here? It's our... It's our less good uh, Psy guy shouldn't be too hard. He's got Fear of the Chosen as well. Well, as long as we don't have a Spectre or something ridiculous to deal with, should be okay. Taking a minute. There we go. Operation Crypt Slayer. And we have lots of laser weapons. Fantastic. Goodbye. Unfortunately, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a Psy amp for Jake, so he's only going to be able to deal four damage with Soul Fire. Oh, we've got Fuse on him, though. Uh, that's kind of great. I take it back, he is not our worst Psy guy. Alright, uh, let's see what we can find. Dashing. Dashing. Ten four. Good to go. Uh, what have we got? Three laser rifles? Good to go. And a scatter ray. Not bad. And take a peek over here. We see nothing. We 
still see nothing as it goes on these missions. Roger that. Roger that. Moving out. And scatter ray up here. Confirmed. Isn't this the exact same layout of the forest version of this map that I've seen before? I can already hear them. Roger that. We see nothing. Um, let's move up Sorry, here. Copy. And and I don't know actually. I'm on the move. On the move. And then over here. Time to motor. What okay. was that? Are they actually moving around or? Contact. Yep. Oh no, not again. You've got to be kidding me. This is just going to be every... Uh, every rendezvous mission now. Okay, I'm uninstalling. It's over. It's done. I don't know what they were thinking. Including the worst addition to the game from Long War... Uh, from War of the Chosen into these little missions where you've got like a bunch of ragtag rebels. Okay. They did make the rebels a lot stronger than Long War 2, but still. Get it done. Not sure what to do with Jake. I I Overwatching. Position confirmed. Let's get some height advantage. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Is that also a sergeant? Bruh. Okay, uh, it is about time. Let's find a stream to raid for today, though. That's going to do it for this week. Alright, who is streaming XCOM, I wonder? Or better yet, Long War 2. Um... Search. Legendary Iron Man Long War 2, XCOM 2 Long War, testing again, War of the Chosen, okay. Let's have a look over here. What was the worst addition? Spectres. Spectres are horrible. They are not tough but fair. They are just awful. I would rate this guy, but he's got followers only chat. So let's maybe go for this one. This one's also followers only. Also, they seem to be AFK. Um, at this rate, maybe I'll just raid someone playing Factorio. Yeah, I think we will. Say hello to all Berlin.
Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. Factorio, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Oxygen Not Included, then back to Factorio 2 Space Exploration for a few more days. Till then, take care. Shouldn't it like make a a line around Telemark when I spell Telemark? Telemark? Uh, depends on. Ah, uh, it doesn't. You put in uh, the correct.